Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another daytime live stream special event this weekend. We're streaming in support of Covenant House Toronto, an organization that helps homeless, trafficked, and at-risk youth. Uh, fantastic cause, wonderful charity. I've been happy to support them a number of times before in uh, in raising funds through live streams. Something like 80% of all the funding that Covenant House Toronto gets to provide the services they do to the youth uh, is uh, arranged through these types of donations and funding drives. So. Uh, thank you to everyone who's made a donation so far. We've raised over $2,700, uh, 2777 to be exact, uh, in support of Covenant House Toronto. And all the money that's raised through these um, these fundraisers go directly to the charity that's providing the service, which is part of the reason why I'm such, uh, such an advocate for uh, helping to support them, is because we know exactly where the money is going to be used and providing the services to the kids to help get them off the street, provide them with food, shelter, medical care, uh, education and also job and skills training to help them uh, get, you know, get to a better place in life. Um, so huge thanks to everyone who's made a donation so far. Thank you to everyone who's been joining the streams and is able to hang out and that helps to raise awareness of the live stream as well. More people are watching, the more people see it, and that's always a good thing. So uh, we're going to be moving on to our second game today. We're streaming for a total of 12 hours today. We've got another 8 hours left. Uh, this is Mind Over Magic. It just came out a little while ago. It's being produced by Clay. Big thanks to everyone, uh, as always, that uh, has been uh, giving up their time to come here. Let me just swap over to the game, get this fired up. I'm kind of leaning towards starting a new game. We uh, we played the early access, um, like a demo or playtest or whatever, uh, before the game released on the 14th of December. I'm kind of, uh, I, I wasn't really happy with how my school was turning out though. Like the the layout of it was a little weird, a little bit difficult to manage. So I'm leaning towards maybe restarting the school today and then we'll build with the staircase being a little bit better located and we'll see what happens so i think i'm just gonna start a new game uh spirits ahead mind over magic is a game where you build your own school you don't directly build yeah, well, we got this all right relax or relentless we're gonna go with the relaxed because or should we go relentless now that i know what's going on now we'll go relaxed <laughs> i don't want to get destroyed like right at the beginning of the game don't need all the ice. fox has gotten gray man i've been gray for a long time I just don't put myself on camera much. I try to make a point of not uh, not displaying myself too frequently. I don't want to scar anybody dramatically, so you know how it is. Uh, let's go ahead and stop the game. Oh, there are customized options here too now. So you can have a mix of relaxed and relentless for different types of things in the game. That's cool. Change your starting staff to one, two, or three. That's cool. Stop game. Mind of a magic. Yeah, silver. Yeah, that's right. I'm a silver fox. <laughs> Yeah, I've been uh, I've been growing great for a little while. It started uh, pretty much around the time I had kids, and it, uh, it's been going progressively downhill from there. What can I say? Um, all right, so our school... Um, once the school stood here, time, however, ground the fine institution to rubble. I entrust you to you the stewardship of a new age of magical learning. Rebuild the school. Train brilliant new mages. Explore the underschool. It won't be easy, but I believe you're up to the task. Though my body's long gone, my spirit yet lingers and will serve you faithfully. Elsanra. That's the ghost that'll be helping us out. Um, let's rename the school. In fact, let's rename the school to Covenant House. Which almost... Uh, <laughs> almost fits. <laughs> Covenant House. So it's like a... Because Covenant almost sounds like, um, you know, like it could be like something sorceress or whatever. But whatever. So Covenant House Toronto. Perfect. We got three staff to start with. Um, they have different uh, magical abilities and stuff. So we got Lightning, Earth, or Fire is our distribution here right now. Uh, up here we have like their health, their trauma, medical bed, wolfkin. This is the type of thing for this one. Wolfkin creatures that will eat wild animals whole, high speed, and will sleep just about anywhere. Meek Serenity, Bronze Medallion, Boosted Power, Mana, and HP. That's cool. Sorry, if you weren't here on the earlier stream, I'm a little sick today, too. I'm My, my voice and stuff is not exactly where it would normally be. Um, loves dining rooms and mess halls, Bronze Medallion. Gains conviction while eating in a dining room or mess hall. I'm just going to keep the people that are here, but we're going to rename them because they've got to have different names in here. I'm going to pick a couple people who made our donation recently. Uh, we'll rename them. So this one can be... I don't know. This will be Kyriel. If I can get it to work. 
Come on now. There we go. Except that. Uh, Byron here will go. This is, this one will be Ricky. And then Willow will change to LP. There we go. Perfect. Thank you for the donations, everybody. Found our school. So now that I've at least played this before, I have some at least a little bit of a sense of what's going on. <laughs> the first time we played it, I was like, oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Rituals. Repel fog, superior fog, or unlock the under school. We don't want to do any of that just yet. Welcome to the under school. Oh, I guess I gotta repel the fog. Until I do that, we can't come out of the basement. So that's probably something we need to do. Um, I don't know if any, any of the staff are better at these rituals than others. I'll throw Cariel down there, whatever. Ritual time, five minutes. Begin ritual. Get us out of here. We's trapped. Well, we're free. There's the ghost up there. Oxen not included school. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it has some, some similarities in the sense that it's a, like a community in your colony management style game. Uh, so the underschool here is where we start, and then down here will be dungeons that will open up that we can access to train our people and adventure and find stuff. And then on the surface we have to build our school, and we've got all our supplies and things. This is the grave for the uh, the founder, El Sanra. Um, and the, the, we start off with this base foundation of wood we have to build on, so we're going to have to try to expand on that. Um, down the lower left we got our different tasks we can do. I'm going to do some gathering here. Tell them just to... Oh, I forgot you couldn't like uh, there's no drag to s highlight an area in this game there there is in like oxygen not included so we'll just get them working on everything just do it all gather everything and then we can set priorities on things as well down here for what people will work on you know medical teacher a uh, medical rest teacher aid um, apparently the the ghost doesn't need medical rest because they're ghosts they're dead so that makes perfect sense just miss that pop up from YouTube. There we go. Um, it looks like somebody here's got a 1.5 faster for assemble, so let's uh, set a slightly higher priority on carryall for that. Everybody else, medium pro uh, fire three. I have the rest of them to leave alone for now. I, I haven't really played enough to get a good sense of the, the priorities and stuff. But they'll work on uh, work on getting all this stuff for us. Okay, in the center of the school we have, of course, our staircase. Uh, I'm going to um, have to build walls and stuff. We're going to do a spiral stair right next to this staircase to go up through the center of the building, and then I'll branch off the floors off of that. I think that's how I want to organize it this time. Last time I just sort of did the stairs. Oh no! Sorry, I hit a wrong button there somehow. Table flip on repeat. <laughs> I don't know how I even did that. Oh, uh, how long was it flipping for? I hate my brain right now. <laughs> Why are you raging, bro? Oh, God. Oh, the mistakes that are made. Nerd! Telling you. Not real long. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm on my second coffee. I'm just... Oh, oh my god, that's what's happening. Uh, okay. So, it's when I'm clicked on OBS, if I hit the letter D, it uh, flips to that. <laughs> that's what the problem was. Oh boy. Anyway. They're busy cutting stuff down for us. Anyway, I'm going to do a spiral staircase in the center here, because uh, last time I we played, I found like the way I was setting up the stairs was brutal. So I had a really hard time managing the room setup. Um, so, let's go ahead and build... Oh, maybe I should work on walls first. Oh, the walls have to be stone. I guess I can't make them out of wood. Let's get some uh, get some gathering in here for some stone. Find me up some stone, please. We need that as a priority. And then I can go down here and I can set task priority. We'll set task priority on the stone for uh, for four and try to get them to gather that quickly so I can build some walls. If you haven't seen this game before, basically we're building the school. 
And it's like a co normal colony management style game that you have to feed people and house them and do all that kind of stuff. But we bring in students that we train up and then we, we graduate the students who leave the school and we get resources for them graduating. Some of those students we could uh, we could then retain and use to um, to train other new students so we can keep them as a teacher. But we don't get the same rewards when we keep them. Instead, we're just using them for, for their abilities. And so as we progress along, we want to try to get a good good pattern going of people graduating out of the school so we can keep getting those resources. <clears throat> Trying to fix the oxygen problem, don't worry. <laughs> You don't need no stinking oxygen. Okay, let's get uh, let's get some walls in here now. So I'm gonna put um, you know I'll put a wall like immediately next to the stair. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how much room I got there. I do not have to. I, I want to make sure I have need, leave enough room for stairs. So we're gonna put those immediately next to it. to the second floor and then we'll have the the wall here that that, that first room we'll, that we're building here will just suffice as a uh, staircase and then we'll need uh, I don't really need doors down here so we'll put put open hallways at the bottom we'll have our dining hall down here at the bottom I think I'm gonna start doing living quarters on the second floor and then this first room I don't know we'll put like uh, storage or something in there and this one's going to need a door. We'll do the same thing over here. We're going to maximize our use of spaces. Oops, not that. As much as we can. Get to work, people! Build! The comedy sitcom spiral stairs that led to the kitchen. Yeah. Man. Sorry, my cold's kicking my butt right now. So far between yesterday and today, we've raised $2,777 in support of Covenant House Toronto. So thanks to everyone who's made a donation. Uh, I did hear back from Covenant House about uh, trying to sort out the problem with... Uh, Payments for people that are outside of Canada. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you try to make a if you try to make a donation and it doesn't let you, it gives you a failure for any reason. If you could just email me with your name, the amount you're trying to donate, and uh, tell me, and, and then uh, ideally a screenshot of what the error was. But if not a screenshot, at least list what the error is. Uh, you can email me at crypticfox at youtube.com. No, sorry, crypticfox at outlook.com. Brain no worky. Uh, and they also said that they were going to see if it's possible to reactivate PayPal on there, which I think would be ideal. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully they can get that sorted today. Uh, apologize to anyone who's been trying to donate, but hasn't been able to as a result of it. With any luck, they'll get it sorted. Get a floor on there. So... In this game with the floor, if you build the floor, you can actually... Like, it'll block out a certain amount of the rain, but it'll leak if it rains. So we actually have to get the structure to the point where we have a roof on top. But I'm going to do that on top of the second floor. In the meantime, we'll race to try to get... Uh, uh, try to get the basics set up here. Uh, furniture. The only furniture I have access to is a cot right now, so I can't really even make a dining hall yet. But that's fun. Okay, secretary. Used by staff to research new knowledge for the school. I should probably get that set up. I kind of want to use this first room maybe as a storage room if we can. Teaching we'll do upstairs. Uh, so we can put chests chest in here. I don't know how far apart they have to be. We'll work on that after they, uh, after they get to the point where they're not doing the base building here at the beginning, you know. Since it's a colony management game, anyone get odds on how long it'll be before Fox fills this colony with molten copper? <laughs> maybe not molten copper, but maybe evil evil monsters trying to kill all my people off. That's certainly possible. Uh, we need lighting in here as well, so let's do uh, 
Do some blue wall torches in here. We'll do, uh... Oh, no, I don't have enough materials to do anymore. What am I lacking here? Oh, viscera. I gotta kill more animals. This is where the prioritization starts to come in. So... Is there like a hunt? Beast care? <laughs> Nobody can do beast care. That's interesting. Um, charge, cook, assemble, construct, wands, harvest, tend, destroy, chop, hunt. Um, let's get this person... Ricky can focus on hunting because he's got fire three. That apparently is good for hunting. I've got at least one person working on assembling, but that's not construction, I don't think. I think that's like... Yeah, that's something different. So we'll put, um... Alp has uh, got Earth-3, so we'll put them on construction. I think the colors, uh, indicate that they're kind of the more strength in that given category. You can access chests from one end space. They can be kept in rows without, uh, spaces between them as long as there's a central aisle for access. That's what I was thinking of doing, but my only concern was then, like, I can't... I wonder whether it'll be hard to set rules on the chest in terms of what they can keep in them or not. We'll build five of them for there for now. This could be our storeroom. Relatively limited uh, um, limited traveling we'll have to do because as they're making like gathering stuff outside it's probably easier to have the storeroom on the main floor where they can sort of stash everything. Push T to change camera angle. Oh! You know, I should pay more attention to commands and games. That's cool. I love that. Except the floor gets in the way. <laughs> uh, okay, we can kind of work the camera so I can get a better angle at it. That's that's cool, though. I love that you can do that. More Usually with these side view games, you can't change the camera angle that way. That's cool. <clears throat> uh, what do we got over here? These are Phoenix Kiss. That's fun. Let's do some more hunting. Oh, wait. Um, set that to all. Hunt these things down. We need more of that viscera for light. We need someone on viscera cleanup to tail, please. Thank you very much. Go to the murdering. Mm, the murdering. Need camera angle changes on Oni. Yeah, Oni doesn't have the same three dimensionality to it though. It's um, it's much more two dimensional. This is like two point five D because you get that depth. Even if you don't have the, uh, if it's not like truly three D, you've got that that three D depth to it at least. Why can't I put a torch there? That's blocked by stairs. Oh, okay, we'll put it closer to the opening. That's fine. Um, I'll need a torch in the back wall here too, actually. Otherwise, it won't be bright enough. So we'll throw one back here. And then in the dining hall, let's go with green, because, I don't know, why not? No point using the same color everywhere, I guess. My people are going to be upset that I'm building dining areas for them before I build bedrooms, but... Suffer. Too bad for them, man. Actually, maybe I'll leave the chest here and we'll put our research in here, too, while we're... Instead of, like, filling the whole room with chests right away, because I don't actually have... All that much space there. Construction, furniture, crafting. We can do our arcane secretary. We'll stick that back there. We'll do a wand shaper right next to it. There we go. So we got arcane secretary and wand shaper there. Wand shaper we need to make the wands that we use to summon new students with. Better off uh, putting all your chests downstairs next to your next to your crystal. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. I hadn't even thought about that. Except that then they've always got to go to the basement to get stuff. I'll leave them there for now. We can always move the chest later if I would decide I want classroom space. But yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. I hadn't thought of doing that. Look at you using your brain pan thing. Well lit though. Sleeping's a problem. They have no living quarters, so that's probably priority number two, I guess. Um, let's make the uh, we'll make a make living quarters like directly above. This 
one will put a door on so they've got some privacy. Uh, and we'll make this one like the teacher's room and then the uh, student's room on the other side, maybe? Or maybe we'll make the we'll make this, the teacher room smaller, actually. So... Because we don't have as many teachers as we're going to have students, most likely. And then I'll need another floor above because they're going to have to do classrooms and things up here. Oh, metal materials. I don't have enough for that. No, oh. <laughs> that tree popped up quick. Actually, I think it was already growing and it just got bigger. Uh, I want someone to work on cleaning stuff up as well. So we've got things like stashed away. Who can we put on like gathering things? Research haul. Hauling is probably the one I want. We got we got the ghost working on hauling. Because he works 24-7. He doesn't sleep. So while the rest of them are taking a nap on the floor, he can be cleaning up. Or sleeping on the lawn outside. It's it's probably perfectly safe, most likely, maybe. I don't, I don't think there's anything out there that will eat them anyway. Yeah, janitorial ghost. <laughs> it's great that they work all the time. Learn about construction, learn about rooms, learn about stairs. We already looked at all these the last time we played, so I'm just going to dismiss all those things. Later on, we'll get to expand the foundation of our building, which will give us more room to build with as well, but right now, it's very, a little bit limited. Our building's not going to be super interesting. It's going to look like a big, just a big cube tower or whatever. Rat nibbles on a sleeping student. <laughs> well, these are the teachers sleeping out here. It's not even the students yet. Okay, uh, where's the thing that lets me see rooms? Room types, there we go. So bedrooms, we have a couple different kinds. We have an austere bedroom. Uh, one or more cot, plain bed, fancy bed, or canopy bed, and it has to be private. <clears throat> Meaning there's um, there's a door on it. Um, I think that's what private means, yeah. Only a single point of entry. So that's where I was running into problems when I, bu when I built last time was that I had rooms that I needed two points of entry, like stairs and or doorways and stuff, and so I was having trouble getting it set up the way I wanted it. Um, private quarters, one door, one fancy bed, 25 or greater luxury. So private quarters, it has to be an, like an individual room all by itself. It has to be elevated, so off the main floor, too. Can't have crafting stations teaching stations, dining tables, any of that kind of stuff in it. So that's that's obviously not surprising. Uh, but the, the austere bedroom should be relatively easy to make. That'll give them plus 2.5 conviction when they're sleeping. Not as good as the other ones, but we'll get to the more private rooms later as we get more supplies and more stuff built. Uh, and then over here, well, this will be our student quarters in here. It'll be the same kind of thing. They'll just have cots in here and then the door, so it should be fine. Uh, you got built a common room for your students, and then two beds per room, four wide along the left wall. All the way up for the staff. Oh, that's cool. Convict sleeping? No, not convict. Conviction. Conviction. <laughs> They've been convicted. Oh my god. It's like we've had a couple of donations as well, so thank you very much for those. Um, I get emails with every donation, but it doesn't have the name in it, so I've actually got to go look at the... Uh, Look at the site over here. Hold on one second. Hopefully it doesn't tie me out again. Sebastian with a donation. Thank you. Michael with a donation as well. Thank you both very much. Really, really appreciate the support. Fox favorite game during the stream. Desk Flipper. <laughs> Providing quality entertainment. The Canadian way. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. Uh, and then a message from Michael. Thank you for all the great content. Our family really enjoys your streams. Well, thank you for enjoying the streams and for helping to support such a fantastic cause. Um, I've had a chance to actually go and tour the facilities at Covenant House Toronto, and it's uh, it's pretty impressive. I, I didn't realize the breadth of the services that they would provide there. Um, it's long-term living for these kids, too. Like, they're not just in there for, like... It's not like a, like a homeless shelter where they sleep overnight and they kick them out in the morning and they have to leave. They actually provide dormitory living conditions for them um, so that they have places they can stay and get back on their feet. And they have off-site facilities for girls that are that are victims of sex trafficking that they're helping to escape that environment, so they keep them away from the main building so that people don't know where they are. 
uh, while they're getting the care and support that they need at the same time as they're also getting all the medical care and everything that um, that you know they're not having to pay for and uh, it's it's a pretty fantastic setup I was I was really impressed no wonder there are ghosts yeah <laughs> All right, well, the ghost has been doing a decent job of tidying. Um, I should probably have somebody prioritizing on harvesting. Although Ricky's kind of doing that right now. Assembling, constructing, hunting. Um, Alpha's focused on constructing. They're actually good in a few different things: repairing, carving, mining. Ricky's good at cooking. So they're eating those berries, but those berries are not exactly good. If I make a dining hall, can I put the cooking's thing in the in the dining hall, or is it got to be in a separate room? I wonder. So if we go to dining rooms, one dining table has to be lofted. What's lofted? Taller than it is wide. Oh crap! That can't even count as a dining hall. It's it's too low. Ah! Why didn't I pay attention to that? I could make the room smaller, I guess. It'd have to be it'd have to be three squares wide, though. That would be awful. Dang it! A mess hall, two or more dining tables, and it has to be lofted. So my whole plan of having a dining room down there is not going to work. Um, we might have to do a dining room upstairs. We can do it maybe above the living quarters. Cooking has to be in the scullery or kitchen, so it's got to be separate, huh? I mean, I could do... If I make this... Well, because I made this room so narrow... Or, sorry, so short, I can't I can't do that. But what I can do up here... Maybe I can make the dining hall right here. Let's, um... I can put the kids sleeping on the first floor. The teachers on the second floor. Or something. I don't know. Um, I gotta cancel. Where's my cancel button? Or cancel. Let's cancel these. Uh, and we'll make... So this room is, uh, how wide right now? One, two... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... It's nine wide, so it's gotta be at least ten high. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have the resources for that, either. I mean, by making a really big dining hall, it'll be it'll be set up well for a lot of students for a little while, I guess. But that's kind of a bit much. I could put the uh, the kitchen down here, I guess, the scullery or whatever. What do we need for that? Dining rooms, workshops, rec room, medical room. So this is just kind of as a workshop. Oh yeah, scullery workshop. There we go. One cooking station. It's got to be grounded, so it's got to be on the main floor anyway. So we can do that. If we go build, uh, crafting, I need the gruel pot, but I need more stone, so we're gonna have to focus on some mining. Oh, I need light in here, too. I get more lighting. It's too dark in here. They don't like it when it's spoopy. Let's see, gather, mining. Need more of these stones. I love that tilt feature, that's really cool. Just don't see that in games too much. Uh, and then we'll go to priorities. Who can work on mining? Conveniently the same person, we also got prioritized for constructing. I mean, I could put somebody else on it too. Let's put, uh... Let's put Kario on it, I guess. They don't, have, they don't exactly have great skill in it, but at this point it doesn't really matter all that much. Unless the change for the playtest, you don't really need a big dining hall. There's, uh... There's one staff and... One for staff and one for students, is there? So we've got... Well... I mean, it does say it has to be... I guess I could, I could make the room more narrow, and then I could put something else in here, and then I don't have to have quite as wide of a space, I guess. Or quite as tall of a space. So, like, right now... I can't even choose. Uh... So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 
Yeah, actually, I did start a new game. Yeah, I wanted to rebuild the uh, the school we were working on so I could put the staircase a little bit better placed for what we were working on. One, two, three, four, five. So if I put a wall like here, then this is tall enough already. I'm assuming it's the interior space it pays attention to, not the uh, not the exterior walls and everything also. Quite fast, what was Covenant House is I guess I've been donating for the last year. She also said I buy too many games that you play that I never play. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works sometimes, Toolkit. <laughs> but thank you for uh, for helping to support such a great cause. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we got more walls. One, two, three, four, five. So I can put a wall here. <laughs> yes, I could if I had enough stone. Uh, does the I don't does the, I don't think the dining hall has to be private. No, it doesn't. So that's good. We don't have to put a door in there. It has to be ten or greater luxury though. So that's something we'll have to work on. Uh, we'll just put an archway in there, so we don't need that. I could probably get rid of this door here and replace it with an archway, actually. I think so with the doors that you can set access to, so only certain people can go into them. Uh, let's get bedrooms set up in here, because I haven't done any furniture for these guys yet. Rotate. So we can do one, two... Three beds there. They're going to want lighting in here, I assume, because, you know, teachers being what they are. I.e. people. <laughs> and the ghost doesn't need a bed, because it's a ghost. It doesn't sleep. For science, walk into the fog. <laughs> I don't know if you can. I'm not sure if you can even make them do it. It's weird. Got me hooked on Oni. They are billions. I don't know how many others over the years. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with watching somebody else play a game. Sometimes it's like, oh my god, that looks like so much fun and you really want to play it. <clears throat> do not use blue light? Why? What's the difference? It looked the same as down here. I, mean, I don't know. Oh, those things give luxury minus two. Huh. So Wall, wall Torch just kind of hurt the luxury a little bit. That's weird. Alright, so we have Austere sleeping in here. So that's good. Um... I could do my little scullery thing in here, I guess. Right next to the dining area. I suppose that works. Put a block right there. Whoops. And then we need a floor here. Actually, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a roof on top of this thing now. Build roof. Just my wonkiness level a little bit. Which is not really changing anything. That's good. There we go. There we go, roof wonk. Confirm. I'll seal it off as two separate rooms there, too, which is good. You want to get windows fast. I, I don't have access to windows, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. Um, how big does the scullery have to be? Does it matter? <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, right, the scullery's got to be grounded. That's got to be on the, on the bottom floor. But it doesn't have any... Nothing specific about size, so that's fine. I'm gonna do a scullery, like, right here. I think I'll throw an extra wall in here so we can have something else down here, too, later. I don't know what to use with this little room for. <laughs> Maybe it could be, like, the, the teacher's dining area, but I'm sure the teacher's one. It probably has to be... Salle à manger? 
private dining room. This would be private lofted. Private can only have one entrance. Build. Oh, you know, I haven't been doing any research. We gotta work on research. Um, open research. There we go. So, this is the research tree. As you can see, there's quite a few things to unlock that we can then do in the school. Dance of the Night Away. Basic rituals. Hardy foliage. Uh, rustic dining. So, I can do dining table. Let's do that one. Get that going. Shine on. We got some fancier lights. A mana lantern. Light plus 150. Place them on floors. Lantern that has mana crystals. Focus against light to restore mana. Needs to charge the function. Okay, that's fine. We'll work on that. Um, in the meantime, we are going to need light in here because they aren't going to like it in the dark. Oh. Actually, we should put this up higher. Where's my cancel? It's a dining hall. We'll do higher lighting. At least it will be a dining hall. People have a place to sleep, so that's good. Make private room for teachers. It's on luxury seven. Yeah, I'll I'll work on that, but it, like, and we're not really in a place to, to have enough room for a whole bunch of private living. I guess I could, I could have put like individual rooms like vertically and have three rooms, each separate with their own access to the stairwell. In order for them to be private, though, they have to have only one point of entry, and so that's where it gets a little bit more tricky, I think. Because you end up, like, sacrificing space. Do all the things now! Yeah, we can do that, too. <laughs> uh, alright, above here, we're gonna have to have some, like... We're gonna have to have a place to teach students once we get them. So, let's throw a wall in here. Actually, let's, again, let's take a look at the rooms. What are the conditions for the rooms? Uh, classrooms. Basic learning. One or more learning stone. One or more learning stone, but they must also have one or more bookshelves or a large bookshelf. Okay, so I just want to see if I need to have vaulted rooms at all for any of this stuff. And what else am I going to put in here? Schoolroom, luxury, mastery, grounded. So this one, that one's not an actual room for What do the workshops need? Research and crafting rate. One or more research and crafting stations, it has to be lofted. I can't put the lofted. Dang it. <laughs> All these lofted rooms are killing me. Okay, so we'll do our, our crafting and research room up above, maybe, since it needs to be lofted. Um, so let's go ahead and... We'll go five high and four wide. One, two, three, four. Throw one in there. I can do another one like immediately next to the stairs here, so we can fit in a, fit in a couple rooms there. I don't think the crafting room needed to be. It doesn't need to be too large though. It doesn't have to be private either, so that's good. I'll maybe I'll do a classroom back here maybe. Let's try moving this. As long as they can reach it. Then the only problem might be that if there's a if there's a, somebody in the way working on something else, they may not be able to reach it. I don't know if that'll cause problems. It's not really wide enough. I wonder if I can make do with a room that's three wide for the teaching. Uh, we need more stairs too. The spiral staircase is gonna go up. Oh, what happened there? Oh, there's a torch in the way. <laughs> uh, move that over here. The fog's coming in again. Down the line, you can build bridges over rooms that could be that would be difficult to take down. Makes for a more interesting school. Yeah, there's like a like as we get more foundational stuff, or like a more foundational base we can build on. We can make the building look a little more interesting. Like the way it is right now, it's just gonna be like a big. It's almost gonna look like an apartment complex. Okay, and then I think I need 
I need that to go all the way up to the top floor there. There we go. We got that. This can be an archway here. <coughs> oh, actually, I can fit my workshop in here. Ugh, same problem. It's very narrow. Possibly too narrow. I don't know. I know with the training stone, we have to have a little bit more room around it for the students to stand, so I, I gotta be cautious of that. Yeah, very magical apartment complex, yeah. <laughs> we got no recipes going here, but let's add a meal order. We can go with uh, carcass stew or gut berry soup. Let's go with gut berries. And outside, we can do planting, too, I think. If I remember correctly, we did that last time. Gather that tree if they haven't already. Let's try to get a farm plot out here or something. Uh, gardening. Gutberry planter. Yum. That's as far back as I can go, I guess. Need resources. <laughs> what does that take? Stone. Everything's got stone involved. I thought I had given somebody a priority for mining, but maybe I didn't. I did. Oh, mine. Need more mining stuff. Need four wide for workshop? Oh, do we? Uh, so I'm going to have to have this room for the workshop then. <laughs> You've got a bed. Why are you sleeping up there? I don't understand. No students. I think with this bed. Staff, Ricky. No students. No students in your bed, Ricky. Carry all no students. There we go. Keep those just for the teachers. We don't want any students like shacking up in the teacher's place. Assigned bed unreachable. Is that what it said? LP is unable to reach caught. Why? Is she stranded up here on this floor? Did I do something to. Did I break my stairs somehow? I did. I broke the stairs. Something's wrong. Uh, construction stairwell. I need more wood. Oh, I hope I didn't trap all of them up here, because that would be a problem. <laughs> so she's trapped up there without access to the stairwell, because I've done something wrong to the stairs. You can see it's, it's not lined up right here. It's all broken. Stakes might have been made. There's no door at the back of the hallway? Well, this this one doesn't need a door. Oh, you're right. I, oh, you're right. Oh, crud. <laughs> I made that room too narrow. Okay, so we need to demolish. Unless I can put the... Can I put these doorways at the back? I, don't, I think they're always at the front, I think. Yeah, there doesn't need to be an option to put them at the back. Go oh, back, right. No, that didn't work. Place her back. Requires wall behind and floor below. So, that is not an option. So we're going to have to break that wall down. Yeah, if they're magic, I think they should be able to fly. Oh, great. Our first rain. <laughs> they're getting rained on up here. <laughs> It's gonna start leaking through the floor too because the, we don't have a roof on this section of the building. We got it dripping through. Wonder if it'll wake one of our people up. <laughs> yeah, they have no brooms. They can't fly. This game somehow makes me think of the Unseen University of Discworld, especially when Fox plays it. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen that game. <clears throat> Uh, 
Looks like we're up to $2,910 raised now. Thank you very much for the donations. Joseph, with the most recent donation. Let's keep the kids safe and in a better place. Thanks, Joseph. I greatly appreciate that. And the dogs are going nuts because my daughter just came home. <laughs> okay, they destroy the wall. Um, what am I going to do about this now? Go that way, and we'll throw some roof on here for now. I'm gonna have to take the roof off again, probably. Confirm. Can I actually merge roofing together? Ah, oh, I'm out of wood. Dang it. Did they do the research I asked them to? No, they're still working on that. Sort of. They're not really exactly doing it. Lightning magic can be used in the school to charge Scriven and research. Combat lightning attack. Oh, wait. I have to have lightning magic to do research. Do I have anyone who has lightning? Lightning. Okay, good. I have at least somebody. Kariel. Who's the person I also have prioritized to do mining, so that's not good. Um, let's put them on research instead. But Ricky's on hunting, so we'll get we'll get Ricky doing some mining too while they're at it. Chopping and mining. There we go. Can't hurt to have the ghost doing chopping and mining also. Oh, and the beds are getting damaged because the roof is leaking on them. That's good. <laughs> Welcome to my school of chaos, where nothing ever goes exactly to plan. Pretty much. <clears throat> chop some trees, Dave! Well, we're working on it. We're chopping trees. Chop a chop of trees. Uh, we also need to repel the fog, so maybe we should tackle that sooner rather than later. Begin ritual! It'll cost them an hour, but the fog's kind of crept in a little bit. I want to keep it back. Before it becomes a problem. I love the way they build stuff with their wand. I chopped more trees down so we can put a roof in now. I think. Hopefully. Bueller. Uh, let's adjust the wonkiness of it there a little bit. Confirm. Let's get some wands in here too, so we can start to get some students, maybe. Um, hmm. Wait, if I put dining in here, in this little narrow space... Since I have the kitchen down below, I wonder if I can... Is there enough room here to put cots in for students? I don't think we'll have a lot of students in here, but I might be able to get a couple in. Cots are two... Two spots wide, though. So I can only fit, like, three cots in here, which is not really a lot of students. I also don't have enough materials. <laughs> We're desperate for materials now. Uh, let's gather all these now. More trees. Give me all that wood. We need all this stuff. The dining room needs to be plenty of room. It has to be grounded, if I recall correctly. Uh, the dining room, it didn't... I don't think it said the dining room had to be grounded. It has to be lofted, but it didn't have to be grounded. The kitchen had to be grounded for the, the scullery. But we didn't have to be grounded with the uh, the dining room, so we're okay there. I was going to put the dining room on the bottom floor, but it has to be vaulted, and so I didn't make enough space. Break, running away, what? I had a break and I'm running into the fog. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to their mental health at all. <laughs> you can't run away. You're No, you're my builder. Why is she upset? Status and conviction. Oh. They have no recreation. That might be a problem. 
Is there any way to save them when they're running into the fog? How do I... How do I... How do we reco I don't think I can recover them. <clears throat> That's because I trapped them on the roof. They were sleeping in the rain, and they're really upset about it. They're not hungry. They're, they're satisfied that way. They just haven't been getting any recreation. Slept on the floor. Slept while wet. Slept outside. Okay, so... I'll, okay, you got a bit of a point, but like, come on, aren't you being a little dramatic? Like, you're running away already. Like, no, 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 bye. Battle awaits, dispel in 11.2 hours, LP's trap, repel fog to rescue. Oh, they're trapped in there. I thought they, okay, I thought they just ran away and like died. Begin ritual. We gotta get Al out of there. <laughs> Research rustic dining lightning. Okay, that's. I guess that shows what I have on the go. That's neat. Learn about lightning and void shrooms. Void shrooms? No, oh, we got our first void shroom up here. Going 34%. It's growing quick, actually. I don't like that very much. Dog, eat your pajamas while you're out. Not my dog. When she misbehaves, she's your dog. <laughs> That's how that works. Oh my god. That's so bad. That dog has been just destroying stuff steady since she came into this house. It's like her mission. And new build stuff. New furniture. Dining table. Place for characters to eat meals and socialize. Six ice belts for this thing. Oh, look at the size of that. How big is this thing? Okay. If I put it in a room like this, it, can, it doesn't have enough space. It can only, like, hold... Okay, this is tricky. I could put it in here. That be that can act as a dining room. It takes three blocks. Trouble is, as soon as somebody sits down, does it make it so they can't actually get to it because they can't get behind the occupied space? If so, that might be a problem. Put it in there for now, I guess. Uh, we need lighting because they don't like to be in the dark. Even though this makes it... Less fancy. And new gardening stuff too. Gutberry planter and bitter rice plot. Okay. Well, let's make uh, let's make some more of this gutberry here. No, well, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Resources are a problem. Let's show the rules of having a pet. When it does something wrong, it's not yours. But when it behaves, it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. When it does something wrong, it's mine. When it behaves, it's somebody else's. That's how that works. Characters can pass each other in a single space. Oh, that's good. That's good. I wasn't sure if it had like if they had seating or whatever. There, it's not like they have chairs or anything. But <clears throat> all right, so that'll be their dining hall, I guess, which is a little far removed from where the food's being prepared. But you know, whatever. Options are limited right now. Teaching. Do we, have we got a wand yet? Let's get somebody with a wand here. Add a wand. We'll do uh, earth wand, air wand. Oh wait, did we get Al back? LP is still trapped. Crystal trap. Well, six, oh, trapped LP. Oh, it's literally like oh. Okay, hold on. Let me go get that. Let's prioritize this thing. Um, task priority. That's a high priority. Get this. I'm gonna break out loose. I guess when they go into the fog, they turn into a crystal. That's crazy. Oh no, here comes the fog again. Somebody get that thing. We gotta get Al out. LP's trap, battle of the crystal trap to rescue. I don't know how to do that. I put a priority on it, but I don't know how to battle over here. Oh, wait, battle. Ah, there we go. <laughs> now I got it. 
Oh no, I've only got I've only got two people to battle it out. Begin. Prepare for battle. I haven't had to do this before. This is all new for me. Army Gal Hell with a six month membership. With a six month uh, message, rather. Howdy, everyone. Hey, Army Gal Hell. How you doing? Welcome and such. Uh... Oh, there they go. Right, we're gonna battle it out. I wonder what they're gonna have to fight to free her. Oh my god. This is kinda. This is kinda cool. Alright, so we have Recharge 1. An ally gains 30 mana and gains 30 speed. Or Bolt 2. I don't have enough mana. What's going on here? Why is this red? Attacks any target. Total damage 35. Base damage 25. Power modifier 10. Mana cost 15. Okay, so let's go with uh, Bolt 2. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Uh, vengeance. Adds Retaliate 15 to allies in target row. So we're gonna... Give ourselves vengeance so we can retaliate when that thing hits me. Recharge him. Give him lightning reflexes so he acts faster. Then you can go fireball too. Oh, my crit! Fireball too. Smoking that thing. Whatever you do, don't panic. Oh, all I do is panic. Runs afraid of rain and hasn't been out since yesterday. Oh, that's a problem. You're gonna have to force her out, honey. You're gonna have to. You literally have to push her out. Okay, what's her deal? She's hungry and has no food. Who can do some cooking down here? Got berry soup. So we want to do it until we have three of them because there's only three people eating. And who can we prioritize to do cooking? Who might be good at it? Ricky, but Ricky's already harvesting. But we'll get we'll get Ricky to focus prior primarily on cooking first, so that we got that ready. Except they're going to bed. <laughs> Maybe well, actually, some of her dissatisfaction will hopefully go away because she'll be sleeping in a bed this time, instead of on the floor in the rain outside. <laughs> Some of them are hurt, too. Learn about medical rest. Oh, I gotta make a hospital, that's right. Mages take hit point damage need to rest in order to recover. Building a medical bed enables mages to take a medical rest, restoring their hit points. Change your mages' medical rest priority relative to their other tasks to, to uh, type priority on the screen. Okay. So, the medical wing... What do I have to do to make a medical room? Uh, kitchen, fine kitchen, woodcutter, nope, 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 nope. Medical rooms. Infirmary! It must be private. Uh, three or more medical beds, two medical incense burners, which I can't get yet anyway, and they have to be private. Um, man, the privacy thing is one of the bigger challenges I think I find in this game. At the moment, I don't really have a room I can put them in. Especially not one that's private. Um, it could build up above this living area, I guess. We could put a little staircase at the front here. Construction stairs. Do the stairs always go to the back, though? Oh, you can't put stairs at the very front, it looks like. That's a shame. You can put stairs at the back. We go like that. And then I'd have to put floor across there, I guess. I need to I need to wreck this roof. Uh demolish. How wide is this room? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as long as I did a roof across uh, like across here it would be alright. Or a floor across there, rather. What a mess! Even if you can't make the room, the medical beds will help a lot. Yeah. I wonder if I make a... Oh, if I make this a spiral stair... And I go higher... I hope the access point stays where it is, because if I put the stair back there, they're gonna have... It's gonna be a problem.
Too funny. Too funny. So much I haven't done in this game yet. I'm still learning. I don't know what the, the good order is to build stuff yet in this. We're still kind of working our way through all that. That's harvesting. I wanted him to, like, prioritize hauling, but... I need the help harvesting, though, too. What about lighting and void shrooms? Without torches or other light source, rooms will be dark, uninviting, and prone to void shroom infestations. But I think the void shrooms actually give us a resource that's useful, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but, uh, there's light in there now, but uh, that's, that's not going to help. Um, let's prioritize this to task four to get rid of that void shroom. I want to see what they do here. Hopefully when they cut the stairway in here, it'll just automatically open up a doorway. It does. Okay, good. Uh, now we need floor. Yeah, so we want a floor across there. Uh, rooms. Medical room. Firmary. Three or more medical beds and two incense burners. I can't make the incense burners yet, but... Five or more medical beds. Tincture. Private. Lofted. Oh my god. Okay, so... In preparation for this thing being a bigger medical room. Gotta be... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Uh... How big are the medical beds? Can I even do medical beds yet? I don't think I can even make those yet. I can't. I gotta research medical beds. Where's my research thing? Open research. At the dining table. Where's the medical beds hiding? Critical care. That's over here. Set that research. My peeps are starving, are they? Uh, I need to be able to make food. Where is my food? Plant seeds, meals? I have no meals. Gut berry or gut berry soup alike. This needs to be... Man, it's hard to keep up with all the stuff they gotta do. There's only three of them. I need some students in here. <laughs> I gotta get more people working. Armigal Hell with a gift of membership. Thanks, Armigal. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Um, gather gut berries. What is this thing? Gather that thing. It's like a nut or something. We kill more rats. Actually, I might be able to make some of that, uh, some of the animal food. <clears throat> Shit, play on the prep mealer? I might not have. Um, cooking. Also run. Yeah, it's it's live. I think the problem is I don't have the gut berries. Bitter gruel. A meal a meal everyone will eat doesn't taste good, but step up from gut berries. Conviction minus five when eating. That's fun. What does it take to make it? I need bitter rice, which I don't actually have yet. Uh, I gotta grow some of that. So, what about carcass stew? Do until we have three of them. This requires small carcasses, of which I have ten, so that's alright. We can make this. That'll work. We got them working on that. No meals available. No wands built. No nothing. No nothing! We ain't got nothing! I wish I knew how big the medical beds were, but for now, let's, uh, make it vaulted, I guess. <laughs> At least I could if I had enough materials. Hooray. How's gruel better than berries? I don't know. That's a good question. The, the, the berries must not taste very good. They're also slightly weird animals, monsters and such, so that might have a fact, an effect there. Oh look, he's breathing fire on it to cook it! <laughs> it's using his wand to breathe fire. 
I should give him a little chest in here, actually, we can store food supplies in. Uh, storage, chest. Never mind, I need stone and a smoke stick. Where do I get the smoke sticks from again? Oh, new furniture accessible. We've got the mana lantern. Ten stone and a mana crystal. Focus, uh, focus is light to restore mana. Needs to charge to function. I wonder where I can put that that's going to be actually useful. I could put it in this room, maybe. Oh, she could build all that high. Look at it! You're like three stories up from outside. It's amazing. You're also out of smoke sticks. <laughs> Crafting, wait, so storage. So smoke sticks used in recipes, it comes from smoke reed. Where are the smoke reeds? Smoke reeds out here, okay. Uh, so gather these. Is that a trash party four on them? We'll get them gathered sooner rather than later. We can make that chest in there. Just so that the person who's cooking doesn't have to run as far with the food. And plus they're putting food right on the floor, so that's fun. <laughs> I wanted to grab some wands and bring some students. I have, uh, I thought I'd created an order for wands. I forgot, I guess. Add wand order. Let's get, um, I don't know. Bring in a fire wand and a water wand. Unreachable object. Where's that? Oh, there. Oh, oh. <laughs> they might want to. Might want a door there or something. Um, infirmary does not have to be. Oh, it does have to be private. Okay, so let's um. Throw a door on here. That's probably important. I don't think I can build a roof that will. Oh, I can. Build a roof that connects there. To close that room off. To track rats indoors in no time, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where'd the roof go that I told it to make? Oh, maybe I can't. That's weird. I wonder if I have to deconstruct something first in order to make that roof across there. We have to demolish that, maybe? Put another... another wall in here? Puncher! Medical beds! I need ice petals for those. Ice petals come from these little ice plants out here. These ones over here. Get those as a priority since the fog's gonna close in on them there. <clears throat> I forgot to confirm. Oh, did I? <laughs> it sounds like something I would do. What? It built a little railing back there. What the heck? Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> I think the, uh,. That doesn't have any support, so that's fun. Confirm that. Build. Wall. Let's see what happens there. Hopefully that gets rid of that little silly railing. Oh, that's, that's just ridiculous. If it at least covers the roof over so we don't have any rain or anything coming in, that'd be alright. There we go. Not perfect, but it's something. <laughs> so much to manage in this game, my lord. Ocean mandates a railing <laughs> up in the wall. 
Not so much uh, where they're actually going to fall, but in the wall where, you know, there's nothing should really be happening. Has anyone been eating at the dining table? I guess if I didn't have any meals, they didn't have anything to eat up there, did they? Well, there's meals sitting on the floor. Oh, there's somebody made a mess in here. Splatter in the scullery. Let me clean that up. Uh, show task. Task priority. Whatever. Clean up the mess. Keep the mess off the floor. If we bring students in here, what are they going to think? Speaking of which, we should probably make another bed for another student. Just so we have enough room for three of them. Three teachers, three students. I don't have any classrooms, but <laughs> we, got, we got all kinds of other rooms for random things. I'm starting to think I should take this wall down and make this whole thing into just one big dormitory here. Food's eating through the wood floor. It's almost ready for the students. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like smoking there. And look, nobody said the food at this school was going to be good, okay? They should be happy they have any at all, really. Okay, they have no recreation yet. Conviction's not bad for Kariel. Conviction's a little low for LP, but that's not surprising since they slept outside a few days. They're, they're all craving recreation. What do I do for recreation? I have to get that unlocked, I guess. Oh, we got research going on. Okay, so we've been to the medical bed. Alchemist station, luxurious lighting. That's That'd be good. Rustic dining, fully stocked. What's that? A pantry. Storage for food, crops, meals, reagents necessary to create a kitchen. Okay, the pantry would be nice. Investigated berries. Is this the construction one over here? Put stuff here. <laughs> basic rituals. Uh, basic ways to hold important rituals like hiring and graduation. Placeable on floors. Dimensions three by three by one. So, okay. Well, basic rituals. It's rustic furnishings. Essential classrooms. Hmm. Do students need room to be private? Uh, no, they don't. It, you can have private rooms and that makes it better. But it doesn't have to be private. Delightful decomposition. <laughs> Midden jelly. Re recipe for sinew. Viscera and ectoplasm. That's yum. Let's go with uh, fully stocked maybe for now. Set research. Oh wait, this one's showing it needs something. Arcane scroll. Page. Okay, so we can't do that research. It needs arcane scroll. So does this. We got arcane scrolls from graduating people. So let's go into the ritual accessories down here. Oh, or dance the night away. Is that entertainment? Use for recreation. Let's do that. And people need recreation, so let's give them some. When did this come out? It looks fun. It came out on December fourteenth. Uh, they did have a play test that we played uh, earlier in the month. And there was a demo for it that came out during Game Fest, but uh, the game released on uh, on December 14th, so it's only really been a few days. 10 out of 10 would definitely send my kids here. <laughs> yeah, chance to spend time outside and build some character. Just ignore the deadly fox. <laughs> the deadly fox, the fog, all the other stuff. Later on, they'll have to battle some beasts or whatever, but you know, it's fine. Did I get my wands yet? Where's my uh, wands? I have one wand. I have a fire wand. We can bring in a student for a fire wand. Ritual. Summon the student. Um, let's use... Um, let's use Ricky for that. We'll select the fire wand, which is the only one we have right now. Begin ritual! Our first student! A.K.A. free labor. We're almost free labor, I guess. They have to eat and stuff, but... Early access still, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably. I think it is actually still early access, but it's available on Steam right now. Okay, cooking. Let's do this until we get to four now. Oh, the first thing the kid did when he got here was go and eat. Oh no, he's putting stuff away. Good job, kid. That's right. You do tidying. You good at tidying. <laughs> they can't do much, actually. Prioritize hauling, destroying. They can do beast care and medical rest. 
Fun. Oh, this is done up here. Uh, build, furniture, medical beds. How big are these things? Oh, I need ice. They still don't have the ice petals. Shoot, I thought I had them harvest them already, but I guess there weren't that many. Two to three ice petals from this thing. Harvest priority four. I want to get a medical, at least one medical bed so we can start getting people healed up. Oh, we got ice petals out here too, actually. Yeah, that one's already marked for gathering. Give them college credit, it's not forced labor. <laughs> Is that how that works? Okay. I need a lot more practice at this game. I'm still terrible. <laughs> like, figuring out everything I'm supposed to be doing and when and where is, uh... Void cap. Oh, let me clean that up. That's interesting. It's nice we can put the students to work right away hauling the things. That's, that's useful. Uh, nobody's been cleaning the floor in here. Okay, I need um, teaching. We're gonna need a learning stone. How much space is that? Oh, that doesn't fit in there. Oh, it kind of does. I can only get a, a couple students in there with it, but that's all right. We'll put we'll put the teaching stone in there. Throw some lighting in here too. While we're at it, we'll get we'll get some green lighting in here. So the, I think the teacher stands on this spot, and then the students would be in front. So I guess that you can get like three students in there. Something. Something something builds character? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh, this isn't private either. Uh, it is, it's qualifying as an austere bedroom, but this actually needs to change to a door. Since I'm building something else in there for the teaching, they, they gotta have uh, kind of a door. Let's not even let the students in this room. Access. No students. It's for teachers only. That's why they have to go to regain their sanity. Such as it is. Does it pass the Wednesday Adams attend test? <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty chaotic. She, she does like chaos, so maybe. TBD, I guess. I really only have three rooms so far. This is still counting. This is counting as a school room. Oh, because the luxury is not high enough to be a dining room. That's why. There, yeah, that good. That counted as a basic classroom. Four luxury lofted. Fifty percent learning rate. There we go. What about classes? School offers a beacon of hope to magically gifted students. To make good on this promise, staff need to teach classes, allowing students to master their magic. To start a class, build a learning stone. During scheduled period, staff will teach students what they need to learn based on their wands and innate potential. Alright. There's our, our student doing their first class. Amazing. Sanity, yeah, yeah about that. <laughs> How much learning is actually happening by shooting a stationary rock? I don't know. I mean, they're managing to shoot it, so that's something. It's already more than I can do. Learn about trials and medallions. Students enter the school with various trials, which are feats they can perform to unlock extra magical potential. Each student's trials are unique to them. Hey, Timber. We're back again, eh? Uh, those students with higher tier wands will have more and harder trials, and therefore more overall potential. Students who complete the trial earn a medallion, granting them a myriad of helpful enhancements. Harder trials grant better medallions. Earning medallions also grant a death save. Only students can complete trials. If hired as staff, a mage's uncompleted trials permanently lock, and the respective medallions can no longer be earned. So what's this guy's deal? Or Amy's deal, I guess. Oh wait, we need a, we need a better name. We can't have this. This is not acceptable. Not acceptable. Standard names. We don't do standard names in games. Uh oh. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to log into my account again. But you get out of the way, cat. You're kind of in a nuisance right now. I know you hang up, hang up here for a while, but 
They gotta go. Got to go. Can't log in. What's going on here? Donations. Error occurred. Please try again. Uh. Why can't I log in? There we go. Got it. Sorry, I'm trying to find somebody who's made a donation so we can pick a person who's we can have the new name in here. Uh, Andrew was the last person to make a donation, so this will be Andrew. Instead of Amy, is it Andrew? Congratulations. Andrew C. Accept. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate the donation. Thanks so much for the support. Cat, you really gotta get out of the way. You're kind of a nuisance right now. Every time I put him down, he jumps right back on the desk. Thank you for many years of entertainment, CF. Well, thank you for enjoying the channel, Andrew. Much appreciated. Alright, so we got Andrew trading now. Uh, did we build another wand yet? I thought I told them to make two wands. But I don't see any, so I, th I don't think we have any wands made at the moment. What happened there, anyway? Fire wand and water wand. What am I lacking? Oh, gut berries. Man, we make gut berries to... Okay, gut berries for wands, too. That's interesting. Harvest two gut berries. Properties. These gut berry things are not doing anything. Tend to the gut berry planter. Maybe I don't have anybody doing any farming right now. Oh my god, Timber. Come on, buddy. Alright, hold on. Cat Cam coming on. He wants the he wants the attention again. Hold on, buddy. You're leaving all your hair all over my shirt. <laughs> Why do you have to shed so much? What's your deal exactly? Trouble is, I don't know where I'm going to put the camera on the screen for this. Oops, not that. Move that over here. There we go. Cat cam! <laughs> He's rubbing on the microphone again. <laughs> you gotta stop that, buddy. Makes too much noise. Oh my lord. I can't do anything here. A cat butt cam, that's right. Everybody wants some cat butt? This is Timber. There you go, buddy. Getting all the attention, purring like a maniac. Yeah, hi, I see you. They're not planting the the uh, the gut berries. I wonder... Charge, cook, assemble, construct wands, harvest, tend. Does tending include planting? Let's go to... Plant seeds and fertilize crops. Okay, let's get LP working on that. Because they I have them prioritized for constructing, but we're not constructing at the moment. So we'll get Al to work on gardening. I feel like we need There we go, finally. Someone's gotta do some gardening around here. Somebody needs to kill some more rats too, they're all over the place. Oh my god, buddy. Come on. Maybe they're using all the berries to cook? No, I have the uh I have the cooking right now set, I think, to making the meat-based foods. Yeah, carcass stew. <laughs> They're making carcass stew, so no berries involved in that. This takes a small carcass. It can be processed in a midden jelly for useful ingredients. Mmm, yum. Sources gremlins and dire rats. I think the student can do more jobs now, possibly? Oh, we got party. Yeah, they can also do tending. So let's let's get them helping with that. Look, buddy. You might be a good cat and all, but you're driving me nuts. Framart with the 18 month member message. Shake Cryptic Fox just uh bought this. Good game. Yeah, it's actually it's a surprisingly complex. I, I think I said that the last time I played it, but there's more going on in this game than I thought there would be, honestly. Uh oh, I can't repel the fog, why not? Gut berries to repel fog! I only have one gut berry. That could be problematic, I'd have to say. Uh, I gather these. Set task priority four on on the gathering. Oh my gosh, buddy, you're driving me crazy here. He's driving you nuts. He's doing his job. Yeah, this is Timber. Poor sweet little Timber. He's like, I want attention, but I didn't want this. Why have you got me on my back? 
Hey, eh? you don't like that, do you? I like the tummy rub, though. <laughs> Crazy cat. I guess that's what cats are for, right? Driving people crazy. It's in the cat charter. <laughs> Is that how that works? All right, I gotta push that fog wall back. I'm running out of supplies room here. This is not good. Not good at all. Uh, what else? Do I get? Oh, we got recreation now. The enchant a phone. Dimension one by one by two, placeable on floors. I don't have to do anything special with this. As long as they have something to have recreation, they should be pleased with me, right? So we'll put it up here. Oh. Oh, that takes up a surprising amount of room. We'll put it there. I can listen to music in the stairwell or something. I can make a proper recreation room later, but as long as they have something to... Oh, good, they're actually finally using the dining area, too. Oh, they literally just stand there. I thought they'd... Oh, she's eating in a rat hole! <laughs> I forgot, I forgot that was the wolf. She'll eat anything. <laughs> she didn't even need to cook food. You know, oh, what I should No, you know what? They might not be prior. Oh, I think there's a slime in the kitchen. It's an ooze. Grows from filth, damages fur. Oh, why wasn't somebody cleaning up more? Hold on a second. Priority. Who's? Where's the cleaning? How is the student not doing more cleaning? Charging, medical rest, hauling, ward cleaning. Seriously, nobody. Okay, you know what? Let's put high priority for uh, El, El Sandra to clean because the person who founded the school should definitely be responsible for cleaning. That makes perfect sense. It doesn't really, but you know, whatever. Uh, how do I deal with this thing? Oh, I guess we gotta hunt it. Kill that thing! Okay, we need a priority on this. Task priority four. Kill that sucker. Get him! Nuke him good! Clean up that ooze splatter. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, storage. I still don't have that. Where's my research? Oh, I had them dancing that I way. I forgot I, I told them to do that instead of doing the... Because I need the scroll for the fully stocked. So I should put a chest in there. I keep forgetting to do that. Let's go down to ritual accessories. We'll get that going. We have to be able to have graduation rituals when uh, students pass. Once he cleans up the mess here, we'll put uh, a storage box there or something. He slid me, yeah. <laughs> Didn't clean up the mess and we got a slime, so what are you gonna do? There's void shrooms everywhere too. I need to put some more lighting in. Lighting, red torches. Uh, I'm gonna put green in the green in the medical room. Why not? A few of those going in there. We keep those void shrooms out. Okay, they finally dealt with that. Let's do storage chest. Stick that on the wall here, next to where we cook, and I'll set that to have all the food stored in it, carcasses and stuff, so that at least it's close to where they're using it. I think these shrooms, when they get too big, they actually start sucking mana out of our people, so... Can't let that go on. Get rid of those things. Focus more on you there, buddy. There you go. Okay, uh, I want to get these out of the way so I can build more. Gather, gather, gather. Task party four. Oops. Get rid of those. And then we're going to build in the garden. More gutberry planters, because gutberries seem to be a problem here. 
I love how he moved because I put the planter down there. <laughs> uh, we should also do the um, the bitter rice plots. Eh, don't have the stuff I need. What do I need for that? Stone. It takes a lot of stone to build a garden. That's crazy. We can push the fog back again. Learn about conviction. Constant stress of a dangerous world is enough to push even the most seasoned mages to the brink. Too much for too long, leaving their break, and they run into the fog. We already ran into that. I learn about oozes and filth. <laughs> the net result of that is clean up your mess. Learn about groups and consumable rules. Consumable rules. Shift plus three can be set up in order to direct mages to eat specific foods. Oh, I should really do that. That's over here. Oh, that's filth. Lighting. Clutter. Pathing. Consume. All staff allowed to eat meals. Don't eat the gut berries. I wanna I actually wanna cook with those. No students eating gut berries either. Everything else is fine, just don't eat the gut berries. Eat a proper meal. Yeah, this storage chest here, I want to uh, clear it all. We want specifically animal parts, meal ingredients. Meals? Non-mage corpses? All right. Sure. Because we're going to cook with those, I guess. I guess that's all I need in there. Animal parts? What do the animal parts consist of? No, actually I don't need that in there. That's not meal ingredients. Bitterized cabbage, jumping meat. Yeah, okay. We'll go that way. Uh, and then these chests out here, I don't want them to have those things. Contents, there we go. Uh, so. No meal ingredients. No meals. No non-mage corpses. I don't think I can copy the settings, though. I have to, like, individually change all these. No meal ingredients. No meals. No non-mage corpses. There we go. So now they should take all the stuff that's there and move it to the other into the other chest by the way we're cooking it. Need that a pickleball court? <laughs> Get some fast set party five since it doesn't seem to drain someone while they're harvesting it. Oh the the shrooms, yeah. Staff all students can use the enchantophone. Looks pretty lofted and private. Oh, you don't actually have to have a door to be private room. I thought you'd have a door on things. I guess the door would just control access in and out. I guess as long as it's only like a one entry point, even if it's an open archway, it still counts. But this doesn't count as a dining hall yet because they don't have luxury there. Just less, uh, less than ideal, I guess. Um, some more gathering going on here. Gather yeah, all these things. In that rock back there. Okay, they got plants in there. That's good. Build more bitter rice plots. I don't have stone still. Why can't I build there? Blocked by sun shadow tree. Oh, this thing. Hey, somebody, somebody chop that sucker down. Put the trees in my way. Block of my garden, man. Ten pin bowling. Roof tiles add luxury, so if you can put a dining hall at the top, you get those points for free. Oh, that's nice. Well, I've got 
I've got the dining hall like right here, sort of. So if I look at my my room types, there's only one luxury in this room though. Like it's terrible. I gotta get some more decorative things. That's gonna require more research, though. I think. Ooh, do I have that wand now? Oh, I do have a wand. Nice. We can summon another student. Summon student! Uh, okay, so this one will be... Oh, look at the water wand, I guess. It's the only one I have. Can I craft those medical beds yet? Yes, I can. Rotate! So, they don't need access to all sides of the bed, right? It's got the green marker around, but as long as I can get into the bed, that should be fine, I would guess. Do a triple medical bed in there. So for that medical room, the infirmary, three or more medical beds, two or more incense burners in private. So I just need the incense burners, which I don't have unlocked yet, I don't think. I don't think those are light options, though. No. I don't know where the instance burners are yet. I don't think I have those unlocked yet. Losing some from the wall torches. Yeah, the wall torches are terrible. They've got, they've got like minus two each. So that's kind of kicking my my room quality down. Continue down the research path. You get better lighting with no penalties and eventually positive luxury. Don't need scrolls either. Uh, where are we for the research here? So they're working on ritual stuff right now. So the lighting is, um, not that chain. This chain you run into, the, like, the rustic furnishings. Well, it's not that one. We stocked. Oh, luxurious lighting is over here. So light my fire. Green brazier. Or, sorry, uh, oh, those are floor torches. Adds light, placeable on the floor. Luxurious lighting. Candelabra. Adds light and luxury. You get plus three with that. So I'll have to get the, uh, gotta finish the research first. Make sure they have access to the right side of the bed. Uh, don't need grumpy people getting out of the bed on the wrong side of the bed every day. Ha! <laughs> Where are the student somebody works? Is there like a waiting room and consent involved? Or people just randomly summoned at random times? Uh, I mean, uh, sh probably a, I don't know, they probably had to like sign up and wait somewhere, I would think. I don't know. Just pluck them out of their room. They're like, sup, you're done now. On your way to school. Get out of here. I need a ritual room, too. Can't graduate anybody without a ritual room. But we'll get to that after, I guess. I'll probably just use this room down here for the ritual room. I'll separate it off from the scullery. We'll go that way. This tree's still not chopped down. What's going on with this thing? Even priority four. Nobody's chopped it yet. I'm gonna kill some rats. We need. We're gonna need more food. <clears throat> Each one essentially doubles the light output versus single wall towards. So you don't need as many. Oh, that's good. Oh, look, this thing is still growing in here, even with the torch in there. I guess I don't have enough light in this room. Harvest that sucker is a priority too. Tell you what, people in here, just prioritize everything. Do it all on priority. When everything's important, everything's important. That's how that works, right? It needs to be fully grown, else you have to choose destroy. For the shrooms? Or for the oh or for the tree. Oh okay, that makes sense. Okay, hold on. Uh demolish the tree? No. The only, the only option is chop. Demolishing it wouldn't work. I can't do that. The 
job, little guy. Oh, look at the guts laying out here. Small carcass and more guts. Fabulous. Uh, let's get both of our students with priority on hauling. I should have them cleaning too, actually. Hauling and cleaning. Cleaning first. Your students, you're supposed to be like put the hard labor cleaning stuff up. Fix all the messes. Trials of medallions. Okay, so for Andrew, conquer the bronze trial, overcome the burrower larva. Serenity, defeat a one skull or higher enemy while uh, party will full. Had a refining beast three times. <laughs> a refining beast? I wonder if refining beasts help us refine things. Wouldn't that be fancy? Oh, we didn't rename. We didn't name Blythe something. That's not right. We need a different name for Blythe. We can't have can't have generic names in here. This is not acceptable. Not acceptable. So Blythe, you can be named to. Uh, Their name Andrew. Let's be Joseph. Oops. If I can get the typing to work here. Come on. Cat, this is very hard to type around you. Here's the dog, and he's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta move? Hi, right, Joseph. Welcome to our school. It's not much, but uh, it's ours, you know. Move the table, oops, to kitchen and put ceremony room upstairs. Uh, I could, yeah, except that the kitchen, or the, the dining area, if I can get the... Ugh, cat hair everywhere. If I can get the, uh, the luxury up, it needs the vaulted ceiling in order to have the uh, the room effect. So I was kind of leaving it down there or up there rather, so that it could uh, it could have the vaulted ceiling. I was wondering when class was going to begin. They were just standing there waiting. Those classic student scenarios where they were just going to leave. Teacher's not here in ten minutes. We're out of here. Oh, the medical room's done. Uh, it doesn't count yet until I get incense burners in there, but... At least they have places to get medical aid. So let's do... I should probably set priority for them on medical rests. Anyone who's injured needs to get medical rests sooner rather than later so they can get better. There we go. They're in here getting healed. It's gonna be a bit for... for the healing, I imagine. Unfortunately, that's gonna really kill my productivity, but... <clears throat> I think the villain slash cat thing is Inspector Gadget. Oh yeah, Inspector Gadget for sure. <laughs> you have to cancel the chop first. Oh, before I can... Okay, so hold on. If I can destroy it after I cancel the chopping. Cancel shop. Oh, destroy. There we go. Thank you. That's helpful. Throw that too. New furniture, dining table. There's the ritual sigil. So, I think miscellaneous room, school room, under school chamber, I don't care about that. I don't think I need like an actual ritual room, do I? Woodcuttery, painting studio, sculpture studio, mage's study. There are so many rooms you can make in this game. It's actually kind of nuts. All right, in the scullery, we're going to construct another wall. Kind of cut this in half a little bit. Throw an all hallway in here. And then we can build. Well, the ritual sigil needs 10 phoenix flowers. I guess he's out here, right? Yeah. Yeah, of these things. Oh my god, I think the dog saw a squirrel outside. She's losing her mind. <clears throat> It's gonna be a little slow going with these guys in bed, but hopefully they won't take too long to heal. Actually, <laughs> Ricky's already done. Good job, Ricky. Way to bounce back. 
Show that fortitude. So far today, uh, one total. Actually, we've raised two thousand. Was it nine hundred? Two thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven dollars in support of Covenant House Toronto. So thank you to everyone who's made a donation to this worthy cause. All that money is cer certainly going to uh, fantastic uses to help support uh, youth who are homeless, trafficked, and at risk. So definitely a, a good uh, a good cause to donate to. Thank you all very much. Squirrel. Is this about squirrel. All I do is squirrel. Okay. I can't squirrel. Squirrel everything. Squirrel at all. Let's go push that fog back again. I think the dog just ran outside. Sorry, I'll be right back. Sorry, everybody. All right, sorry, I'm back. Didn't actually have to chase the dog. She was just, uh, my wife was trying to put Ren outside and Lila was hyper and trying to run out the door and <laughs> just a mess. Everything is mostly okay-ish. <laughs> Oh lord. Yeah, we make the ritual now. We can do that in here. Ooh, just in a fruit for it too, actually. Perfect size room. First time something's worked out properly so far. For the most part. Where's our third person? Oh, 
Oh, they're still in the medical room. Okay, that's fine. Good, they're almost healed. Good, good, good. Teasers are finally almost all back, stitched back together again. Magically empowered. I guess they had a good rest. They're busy building now. No recreation scheduled. Wait, do you have to schedule recreation? Oh. <laughs> no wonder everybody's so upset with me. Uh, Alright, so... All staff. Tasks, sleeping. Hmm. Let's give staff recreation at the start of the day. And the student staff at the end of the day. Or students recreation at the end of the day, rather. There we go. Although I wonder if that'll result in the students going to class and then waiting for a teacher that doesn't show up. We'll have to see what happens. Maybe I'll, you know what, actually for them, let's go with uh, schedule. We'll change their, their them to task for that first segment there. Same here. Hopefully that'll work. Maybe now they'll finally get the recreation they've been craving. That's a conviction. Still nothing on the recreation side. What are you gonna do? Might make them happier. All work and no play makes them something something. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Yay, recess! <laughs> but their only form of recreation right now is this little uh, enchanter phone. So they can sit there and play music and that's it. Let's get a, another student in here. Add another one. Let's see. Let's do uh, Earth, I guess, this time round. Do that one time. Get rid of these ones out of here. Oh, look, they're partying it up! Oh, that was short-lived. <laughs> guess I gotta give them more recreation time. They can't even get a real dance in. We gave them something, though. They're all getting happier. They got their jollies dancing for 25 seconds or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, it was like 15 second rec time. Yeah, it was like the world shortest rec time. I have it uh, sped up a little bit too, so it, I guess that's a part of the thing, but still funny. Uh, research is still progressing. Is the one built now? Nope, not yet. Still pending. Should probably chop more trees. These ones here all look gatherable. I haven't... Harvestman fully grown. Founder's grave. I don't remember what grows there, but let's put a, put a little bit higher priority on that. Since it's only one spot that's growing stuff, it might actually be something useful there. And all them things. She's getting tanked at 8 a.m. <laughs> ah, they're not drinking. They're just dancing in front of the enchantophone. Then later the students will do it. Can't have them partying together. That would be inappropriate. The number of rooms that have to be lofted in this game is really challenging. A little more research across. Can't have cooking, beds, refining, dining, teaching, ritual, or medical. Kind of, I kind of want to put in the stairwell here, maybe. But the enchantophone. Actually, let's move. What happens if I, if I, in the dining, if I want to have a dining room? Can't have crafting, research, teaching, beds, but it doesn't say anything about recreational equipment. So I can move this into here, actually. A little less room to party, but uh, we'll put it in the dining area. And then I can use this room in here, maybe, for the crafting room? And that might make it actually into a workshop that gives me a buff for doing stuff. As long as I can actually get room for them to work on things. I think it'll be alright. Uh, and then move that up here.
There we go. Yeah, workshop. Perfect. Plus 25% research and crafting rate. So that'll speed that up finally. I've been slacking there. That was a bad choice on my part. So we've got the scullery. We've got the workshop. We've got a couple of bedrooms in the classroom. This still counts as a schoolroom, oddly. Oh, because I don't have the incense. That's right. My bad. Muppetry is always welcome. All I do is Muppetry around here. Some of the medallions require them to celebrate with four or five other people. Oh, really? <laughs> well, later on we might... Oh, you mean f for the... Uh, for the sigil thing? No, it must be for, like, recreation. Getting the groove on. <laughs> Music's funny. Good job cleaning up. Look at that. Those are good students right there. Uh, I have the wand now, so we can do another summoning ritual. This will be our Earth student. In ritual. <sighs> Magic Wisdom Bronze Medallion. Power, extra damage. Oh wait, did they actually get that one? I think they must have. Feed two one scholar higher enemies without using potions. Eat in a mess hall, common room, or house commons ten times. So the likelihood of getting that's not great. I mean, I guess the the challenges don't necessarily mean all that much unless I'm going to keep them as a teacher because we're just going to promote them out anyway, so they're out the door. Someone was at the front door. I don't know who it was. But the dog was loud about it. You can put storage in the basement near the mana fountain. Yeah, I could do that too. And then I could use that room there for something. Uh, I'm not sure what to use it for yet, though. You get more scrolls for them when graduating if you successfully complete them. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. That might make a difference then. So if we get more scrolls because they've got stuff accomplished, then that's probably worth doing. Open research. Uh, what would I have them working on? I forgot. All right, I think they finished whatever I had them working on before. Let's get them working on luxurious lighting. Try to start to improve the lighting conditions in here in terms of like the decor. Uh, we need to do some more gardening here to get the block. That tree is still in the way. <laughs> Damn, I'm with this stupid tree. Get that thing out of here. God dang. That's right. Cook that sucker. That wasn't. That wasn't good enough. You're a fire mage! How could you not nuke a tree? Oh, we got a new Caesar or a new student in. Caesar, no less. Uh defeated one squad, let him your higher enemy party solo. That's gonna be a bit. Uh cast while craving recreation to a learning stone twenty five times in a me Jeez. Anticipatory learning. Cast while craving recreation in a learning stone 25 times in a basic or intermediate classroom. That's crazy. Beat one scholar enemy higher with a party is rested. Okay, let's uh let's rename Caesar, because this name's not name's not gonna do. We gotta have non-generic names in here. Who else can we pick that's made a donation to Covenant House here that we can select? Um Michael Miller. There we go. Welcome, Michael. Thanks for the donation to Covenant House. Greatly appreciated. Does man in that stone run out? Down bottom here? It kind of looks like it. Open the mysterious underschool. Filled with treasure. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the underschool stuff. Superior repel fog. 
Sanctify the mana font, forcing the fog to retreat at a great distance, revealing... So, there's actually a mana fountain thing I can craft at some point here. Where, oh, it's the Solemn Brazier. Solemn Pedestal? Adds luxury and counts towards creating certain ritual rooms. Oh. I need ice petals for that, though. Where's the, uh... Somewhere there was the mana fount thing. Maybe I don't have it yet. I thought I unlocked it already. I'm not sure what the deal is with this. The, so this mana font... Stores mana for mages, perform repelling fog ritual, performs mana, forcing fog to retreat. I don't know, I guess they drain it when they use it for stuff, and then it's... They have to refill it? I don't know. Not really clear on that. Mana lantern, yeah, that's what I was thinking of, sorry. Mana lantern. It should be under lighting, but I, I don't... I guess I don't have it. Where is that? Oh, shine on. This right here. The mana lantern. Where is that? Furniture? There it is. Mana lantern. Furniture. Uh, lantern that has a mana crystal focusing its light to restore mana. I gotta get a mana crystal, though. I don't know how to get those. Mana crystal. Mysterious mana imbued crystal used to build a mana lantern found very rarely in the underschool. Okay, so I gotta find... I gotta find it in the underschool to make that, so that's not gonna happen. It's not right away. They got auto-refills? Yeah. So we gotta do the underschool stuff before we can start getting that. Actually, what's the level of our students here? There's a point in which they're ready to start doing trials in the under... In the underschool. I don't think they're really there yet, though. Craving Recreation, Trials of Medallions. <laughs> sleep. Sleep. Sleep on floor. Destroy. <laughs> Alright. They gotta, they gotta work on that more. Got a blackout. What'd you miss? How many students were lost in the last two hours? <laughs> hey, Gene. <laughs> no students. We haven't lost any. We haven't done any of the under, uh, any of the under school stuff yet, though. Can I please now build this garden stuff? I've been trying to build this garden plot area for ages. Splendid! Simply marvelous! The challenge is going to be, if I'm going to have any more students in here, I need, uh... I'm going to need more, more room for sleeping quarters. I guess we could put another one down here, but it wouldn't be private, so they wouldn't exactly get this the room buff. I guess I could extend the staircase up and make, uh, make another floor. <laughs> Sounds like they're dancing to the spooky, scary skeletons, almost. Gotta graduate him. Well, yeah, I don't want to graduate him until they do some under, uh, some of the underground stuff, though. You're starving. Uh oh, what's going on? Uh, City and Viscera uh, meal ingredients. A bit of rice, but we don't have anything else. Uh, corpses, meals, We've gut berries. We can make gut berry soup. Let's make, uh, Mmm, gut berry soup. Yum. Do that until we have four of them. I guess we gotta hunt some more rats out here, too. Kind of been not paying attention to that a little. I know you're, you're shocked, surprised, amazed, dazzled by my lack of attention to detail. <laughs> That's right, they gotta work in the slave mines before graduation. <laughs> we got, they need to prove their mettle by theoretically not dying. It's a tight fit in this classroom, they're making it work.
I don't entirely get the mana font thing. It looks like it's a, like it's almost drained. Fog repelled 98 of 596. Oh, I can do a whole lot more. Let's do a superior fog repel, maybe. Begin ritual. We'll push it way back and see if that uncovers any new resources for us. I also want to see if they if they do this, will it actually shrink the fog on the... That's what it is. It's showing the level of fog around the school. It's not the amount of mana. It's the uh, the fog position. Interesting. Could switch the staff and student bedrooms. There's room for two more beds in the staff room. You're right. You're probably right. If I brought in more students, that is a good idea. So... If I were to build more beds in here... Yeah, they could go toe to t or head to toe. You could fit two more beds in there, you're right. I don't remember why I made this one a vaulted ceiling. Is it because I was looking at the next level of bedroom? No idea why I would have made that a vaulted ceiling in there. I did it for a reason. I made the steps up and everything. I don't remember why. <laughs> I think I was going to try to put the dining hall in there maybe at one point. And then I decided to put it over here. Craziness. Okay, so we pushed... Wow, we pushed the fog way back. Holy. I created a lot more room. What do we got? Crow and nest? And a misty crystal. These things, they actually have like... Uh, rewards in them, I think. I think I found, like, some luxury items in those before. A nest that spawns Croa. Eat any food crops you're growing. When eating, will be frightened away by nearby staff or scarecrow. Uh, scarecrow. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's destroy that thing. We don't want that attacking my stuff. Another one here. Destroy that, too. That doesn't matter of priority. I don't want these things eating my crops. Okay, we got some new stuff. We got honey drop bushes. Okay, so let's uh, gather from those. What are these? Mandrakes? Bristlecone tree. Okay, that's cool. What about on the other side? Vaulted ceilings was for a dining hall. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I was going to put the dining hall there, and then I opted to put it somewhere else. Uh, okay, this here I want to make party four. Get the rewards out of these things quickly. Destroy party four. Excuse me. Double get resource to select all that resource. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, that's cool. Probably should have figured out that sooner. <laughs> Smoke those nests. Get out of here. Where are you going? You just got all the way over here. Where are you going? Come back. Run away like it doesn't matter. Yeah, because the requirements of the room next to it, so you just took it and continued the height. Um, well, no, I had started, I was going to make this a larger room, I think, and then I ended up splitting it into two rooms because I decided to do something else with it to save space, and I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Either way, we got uh, we got it there. If I need to later, I can take this wall out here because this is just a hallway, effectively. I don't, 
Actually, I really need to have that there. Take out this, uh, this wall here and make the infirmary larger. I had thought I would put something in here, but I don't even know what to do in here. New lighting. We got the braziers for the floor. Solemn brazier. Floor to adds light. Counts toward creating certain ritual rooms. So that one has no negative luxury effect, which is nice. Now they're to the floor braziers. How big are they? They add 125 light. The wall ones add 60. So I could put like two of these in here. And then get rid of the torches, maybe? Furby needs vaulted ceilings, right? Uh, if you remove that wall, would it be too wide a room? Oh, you're right. Maybe. You're, it might be. You're probably right. But I also don't have the incense in here, so it's not technically an infirmary right now anyway. So if I look at the rooms, the only ones that are rooms are the workshop, the two bedrooms, classroom, and the scullery right now. The rest I haven't met all the conditions for just yet. But I also don't need more infirmary beds at the moment either. Three seems to be alright for the number of people that I have here. Oh, Andrew's got the star. Gold star, Andrew. Good job. He's done learning. He can't, he can't get any more learned than he is. I was gonna say, it sounds like stuff's breaking, but I think it's actually the trees getting bigger. They could, oh, they didn't get this thing. Oh, I think the fog rolled in before I got some of the, some of the rewards that were out there. Actually, if I go in, no, I don't have any shrunken stuff. What about fully trained students? Every student has a natural limit to their magical, magical ability. Once they've learned all that they can, they're considered fully trained and get a gold star on their portrait. Fully trained students will no longer gain skill from going to class. They'll still do their tasks and attend to their needs. They make progress on trials. They may also still explore the underschool. Students may graduate at any time with a ritual at the ritual signal, or the ritual sigil rather. Even if not fully trained, however, only fully trained students may be hired. I guess you can graduate them anytime you really need the uh, scrolls or whatever. Was that some kind of stir fry I got? That was weird. Fish eyed stir fry or something? Revival flask? I got decorative items out of these crystals the first time I played this out. When we were trying when the, uh. Um. In the test, uh, test player, or whatever. Potion of greater rejuvenation. Is that just gonna keep spawning stuff? Is that broken? I wonder if I'm gonna infinite stuff out of that. That'd be great. Was it honeydew stir fry? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Honeydew stir fry. Okay, it finally broke. Potion of recharging. You got all kinds of stuff out of there. Can't tell them to like. Oh, they're still priority four, so they should go pick that up sooner rather than later. Sweet, we got potions, baby. Who's gonna eat the stir fry? I wonder. One lowly stir fry in this entire school. Somebody's having a good meal. Everyone else is gonna be sucking it up with the gut berry junk. <laughs> different types of crystals that produce different items. Oh, I see. So over here, oh, the crystals have already been taken care of, so I don't know what they got out of those. I have nothing on my shrinks, though, so there must not have been anything they got that way. Beaching. Solemn pedestal. Placeable on floors, on the ground. So let's put a, how big is this thing? Put a solemn pedestal in here. I left the gap at the back of the table, right? Yeah, we can put a solid pedestal back here. Gonna make that room more decorative. 
So this room is now lit. Disintegrate the lights that are in here. Those are for the ritual room? <clears throat> but since like, it makes for some ritual rooms, whatever, like, what do I need in here? Oh, hire staff. Requirements. One student, fully trained, one efficient, adept scrolls. The retire ritual. One attendee, one retiree. Must be staff, not ethereal. Must be an assembly hall, auditorium, or great hall. <coughs> Oh, I see. Auditorium requires solemn brazier or solemn pedestal. Two or more of them. Okay, I get it. Uh, well, it's a decorative thing, too, so it adds luxury to that room. I guess we'll leave it there. But we need to build more of them down here. I need ice pedals for that, though. That sucks. I need these ice pedals. Needs more ice pedals, man. Mr. Stripper, you already got Taco Bell. Let's not stop talking about food, okay? <laughs> I haven't eaten again today. Hungry. Um, why are they all just standing there? What time is it? Students need a teacher. Why is nobody teaching right now? What are they doing? Get up there and learn them students them learning things. Really? You're going going for a meal? Not, not going to teach the kids who are just standing there wasting their time? There we go. About time. These kids just standing around doing nothing. You harvest them three times. Oh, the crystal things. Yeah, yeah. Did she left again? All right, they're all done. <laughs> I was like, let them stand in there, not even teaching. I think we need to try some underschool business. Let's do. Uh, oh, what have I got unlocked? I need phoenix flowers for that. Gather Phoenix flowers, flowers of them here, Phoenix things. Get those, we can do the school ritual. We gotta, we gotta blast some monsters. Get a little combat going on. Yeah, I keep forgetting to double click for all one type. <laughs> it's not very bright sometimes, okay? These flowers in particular, we want to harvest those. Oh, the mandrake over here. What's that even for? Required sunlight, skill one to harvest, mandrake root. Use the recipes for quilted helpers, gear, and potions, and to build certain furnishings. Mandrake, a common plant with magical properties. Mandrake root, mandrake seed. All right, good times. You don't want to bet that Andrew will die since he's closest to graduation? Probably. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> I can't remember when they if they when they fall if they're like dead dead or if they uh, if they're just injured. I think they actually died, didn't they? And we had to like build a gravestone or something for them. Nope, oh, saw another uh, just another donation there. 
section expired. Back to login page. My fave. Donations! What do we got here? Rashad, thanks so much for the donation and support of Covenant House. Greatly appreciated. Sorry I couldn't do more, but wanted to help regardless. Every little bit helps. It all adds up. They have an enormous budget that they run on. So any support that anyone can offer is uh, is definitely beneficial. So thank you to everyone who's been able to donate of, of any level. That's a big death save to gain. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Each medallion there and gives them one more, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They haven't got much medallion-wise yet, though. Like, a bunch of their medallions are combat-related, and I haven't done the combat stuff yet with them. I have two carcass stews and a whole bunch of gut berries. What is it showing that we're out of down here? Oh, carcasses. That's fine. Do until zero times. What? What's going on there? Do that until four times. Oh, it's just do X times, not do until. There we go. <laughs> That's why I haven't been feeding them. Oh my god, my people are going to start starving again. Start a new game too, the same time you did. I'm only on day five, but I haven't even summoned a student yet. Oh yeah. I wanted, uh, <laughs> I wanted the extra labor. <laughs> That was my primary incentive in, in uh, recruiting students to the school, was to put them to work. <laughs> and by the time you get far along in this game, your student, your school could be just massive. Like, I mean, consider all the different rooms that you have that you're capable of making in here. Mages studies and everything. be pretty darn gigantic. I think I'm going to want to expand on the school again here soon. We've got all the, like, the critical rooms at the moment, I think, but... Well, there's the candelabra. 180 lights, uh, plus 3 luxury. So, if we put that... I want to use one square. It's very triple the amount of light these things that we're producing, so... Definitely want that in the dining hall for sure. Uh, I guess we'll put it right here. Get that luxury in the lighting going. We can get rid of the other lights that are in here. That will make that a lot better. It'll significantly increase, increase the luxury in this room. Because we'll take out negative four and add plus three. So it'll be a seven luxury swing. That should be good. What you call a school that requires the students to work as groundkeepers? <laughs> Successful. <laughs> Schedule. Um, I think I'm mostly class time. So, even though they have most of their day as class, they actually don't spend all that much time in there. It's all recreation time in the middle. Get the kids partied up a bit more. In between class, they can take a little party break. Oh, no, stop. Oh, God, it took all of them. Um, cancel. Why did it not cancel my... Uh, all right, whatever. Those can go. I want all the red ones to stay in here. There we go. We're good. Not sure how he ended up selecting all the torches at once, but that's weird. Oh, look, it just changed. Now it's a dining room. 13 luxury. Lofted and private. Look at that. Fancy walls and everything. What the heck is that? Why is there a crow in my school? Eat any fruit crops you're growing. When eating will be f frightened away my nearby staff or scarecrow. Uh. Well, hunt that sucker. 
Party five, get it out of here. Maybe that's a bug. It's floating in midair. Why did it spawn inside the school? That's super weird. That's a tough bird. Got eyeballs and brains. <laughs> Good times. The crow looks ridiculous. Yeah, now he double clicks. Yeah, <laughs> when it's when it's of little utility, that's when I did it, naturally. Oh, the viscera landed in the dot in the dining area. <laughs> We killed it in here and it like threw its guts through the wall. That's nasty. It's crazy, man. One of the students bringing a pet? I don't know. I think we can domesticate animals in this because there is actually, uh, under the priorities, there is a, uh, a beast care. Keep a refining beast happy and working well, but I don't, I don't know what the refining beasts are. We haven't encountered those yet. Nobody's prioritizing teaching, clearly. Maybe we should prioritize teaching for all of them just so we get the students through the process quicker. In the mall, some party in teaching and see if they, well, yeah, there you go. Someone will go and do it that way, hopefully. <laughs> What's this crow doing in my school? It wasn't even a crow, I don't know what that thing was. It's like a weird blend between some mutated duck and something else weird. Oh, we got two, two gold star students now. Let's do the, uh, unlock the under school. <clears throat> so we need our gold star students here. We'll get uh, Ricky with the fire. Uh, An owl with the earth in here. Begin ritual! That was sinister. <clears throat> it's a yeah, weird duck rat combination thing. It was strange looking. Crazy magical creatures. It's open. Sort of. It's closed. What happened to the underschool? There it is. The bottom of the mana font. Okay, so the spine, double deeper, may have consequences. Uh, all right. Begin. We get our students in here. Lightning three and fire. Do I want lightning or do I want? Hmm. Bring supplies. Potion of recharging. Revival flask. I'm not gonna worry about any revival stuff. We probably don't need any of that. <clears throat> Let's get. Uh, I kind of want earth in here. I think maybe. Get lightning and have earth. Begin battle. Prepare to ex for explore. Oh, I got no research selected. Hold on. Research. That's important. Great thoughts. Delightful decomposition. Uh, maybe we should do some of that. I don't know what to do with the decomposition, composition, but we could probably do like fertilizer or something. I mean, everything else pretty much needs scrolls to unlock, so we'll have to graduate somebody before we can do anything further with most of the research. So we got our first couple students graduated and we'll get some new ones in here. No point holding on to them when I need the stuff. They're in, baby! Alright, we've got Soak. Attacks the enemy and lowers their power. Torrent 2. Attacks the enemy deals 20 plus damage when attacking from back row. Oh, perfect. Smack that belcher. Alright, Earth Armor. Add 60 armor and taunt 2 to the caster. Smash 2 attacks enemies, deals 20 damage when full hit points. So who's got a lot of hit points already? Ricky's actually got a good amount of hit points because of the type of uh, monster he is. So let's throw Earth Armor on him. Wait, what's going on? Add 60 armor and 2 taunts to the caster. Oh, I can only do it to myself. 
Okay, well, we'll throw it on her. Then we'll get Vengeance 1 on the front row, because that's the one that's going to get attacked. So she gets armored and gets to attack back at the same time. And then we'll do... Oh, he's fire also. So we can do... Um... It's 15 retaliate to the target. I wonder if I can stack those up. Get this guy with a fireball. Oh, only 27? Really? This guy, it's Torrent 2, did way more damage than that. 45! Smoked him! Earth Armor again. Vengeance again. Spread out like 30 damage that way, that's pretty good. Fireball 2. I'm just gonna soak this one. Oh, he slowed. That's cool. Uh, smash. Attacks an enemy and deals plus 20 damage when at full hit points. Total damage 32. Additional damage modifier 20. I don't know. It's plus 20 damage. So I'll get 50 some odd damage if I attack with this thing. Probably attack... Yeah, because she's at full health. Let's do smash 2 back here. Oh, I can't. Really? Alright, earth armor does. <clears throat> Keep my people from taking damage so they don't have to spend time in the infirmary. Smacked him. Victory! So we got Viscera Stone and two Arcane Scrolls. Oh, you got Arcane Scrolls from this, too. Messy Meddler have been loosed. Oh, that's the consequence. <laughs> Events unlocked in the Underschool recur in the future. Okay, so... We've unlocked the Underschool, but... We may or may not have created a problem. Well, the scroll still does not down there. We don't want that. Explore Stone Ruins. Ah, oh, Arcane Adept and Savant Scrolls. Arcane Adept and Savant Scrolls are used to unlock certain research topics. Arcane Scrolls can be found by exploring the Underschool. Every fight will drop a small amount. Defeating Underlords will grant many Arcane Scrolls at once, but these battles can be quite dangerous. Adept and Savant Scrolls are obtained by graduating students or retiring Emeritus staff at a Ritual Sigil. The amount and type of scroll received will depend on the Mage's accumulated skill and the tier of their wand. All types of scrolls can be crafted at the Scrivener's Desk. Which I don't think I have unlocked yet. That's fine. Oh, did I do anybody's uh, trial with that? I woke up the Burrower Larva. I don't think that's what we dealt with. Defeat a one skull or higher enemy uh, party wall full. Couldn't eat another bite. Oh, that's what full is. Okay, they got a crap. Pet refining beast. So I can't do his stuff. But Joseph. One of two for the defeating without a potion, and then eat in a mess hall, common hall, or whatever ten times. So I actually have a, a mess hall now, I think. I think it's a mess hall. No, it's a dining room. Okay, I don't have a mess hall. Darn, so it doesn't matter. Messy meddler wanders the halls. The poltergeist that wanders around your school leaving filth behind can be warded off with a spectral snare. Let's do battle. Again. Prepare for battle. Oh, here, where's the meddler? Where is it? Oh my god, the corpse is still there. Somebody clean that corpse up. Where's this messy meddler? <laughs> I sent my people up for battle, but I don't know where they are. Oh, there it is. Found him. Okay, soak one. Attacks the enemy lowers their power and speed by seven. Let's do that. Just weaken him up and slow him down. Then we'll get an earth armor on her. Smack a fireball on this sucker. Just 
More fire. Get this done. Deals plus four damage when attacking from the back row. Perfect. Skapow, 45. Uh, Earth armor again. Throw a vengeance on here. Fireball. Smoke them! Probably could have done that without the vengeance, actually. Oh, I got arcane scrolls out of that, too. Nice. And ectoplasm. Mmm. Use the recipes for potions and quilted helpers and to build certain furnishings. The midden heat and the spectral croa. Well, that's fun. Oh, what happened there? My god. Where am I? Oh, my lord! Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's a weird zoom. Just V completed Potion Purist Bronze Trial. Completed Full Fighter Bronze Trial. Nice, we got two trials completed with that fight. That's awesome. Plus one to air skill cap. Just did power. Didn't get that done though. Fog advances. I'm gonna move the fog back again. Oh, wait, I need four people to repel the fog now? That's weird. I guess it gets more expensive as you go. Or maybe it's based on how far away it is. To push it back farther, I need more people. It's gotta be what it is. When it was like right on top of me, it only took one person. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. I'm sick. Uh, there's a crow out there. I sent my people out to kill it, but look at the thing. It's like a blend between like a rat and a duck. That's seriously messed up. They're not... It didn't look like they were doing a whole lot of... Oh, there's the nest. I thought I had destroyed all these. Okay, destroy that. Priority five. Get rid of these nests. We don't want those things spawning. Ooh, we definitely want these too. Those give us rewards, so we want to remind those up when they see them. Yeah, the game's available on Steam, so if you it came out on December 14th. If you're interested in playing it, you can find it there. It's a pretty cool game. I actually rather like it. I'm not very good at it yet, but I, I like it. Oh, wait, no, no, what, what did I do? I don't want to cancel Harvest. Harvest that thing. And mind that. Party five, go mine them things. Get them rewards. Them special stuffs. Something broke a chest? Something, wait, where? Oh, the chests are all damaged down here. What happened there? The poltergeist, probably. The thing that makes a mess. 
No research selected. Uh, research. Okay. Ooh, I got enough to do, uh, I got four scrolls. So I can do oil and bubble. Give me the alchemist station. Used to create potions with alchemy. It also gives me the potion of rejuvenation I can make. Um, creepiest quilting? Quilt station used to cre create quilted helpers that can perform jobs in the school. Placeable on the floor and on ground. Oh, I want that. Ones that can haul. Ones that can clean. So cleaning and hauling, that's pretty sweet. Oh, we need to make those. I don't know how much they get in the way, but that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I did start over, yeah. I decided to, uh, to start a school from the ground up so I could design my, my layout a little bit better. Once I got a sense of, like, how many conditions you had to match for the different rooms and stuff. I wanted to change around how I was building. So we built, like, a central stairwell instead this time. And, uh... I'm kind of branching off of that instead of uh, like the haphazard stairs I was doing before. Seems to work slightly better this way. Although I'm, I've stopped at third floor because I haven't I haven't built any additional rooms up there yet. Uh, so the garden we got access to the midden jelly or finding beasts that processes non-humanoid corpses and turns them into useful ingredients or useful reagents rather. Modest grave, that's fun. Midden jelly, huh? I'm going to do the mid and jelly over here. i got to clean all this stuff out, though. Let's see. Gather. Gather all these things. This tree we need to destroy. Make our mid and jelly over there. Oh, that'll actually give me access to uh, one of the um, the refining beasts. And the, the one dude's got a, a challenge to pet a refining beast a certain number of times. So maybe that'll help. Build up past the foundation on the second level uh, and above layer by like six to eight planks. Yeah, you can go out a little bit and then it just gets a, you get a weakened structure. This is not as high as you can build. As you can see, we can we can go way up here. You can probably build all the way up to here, kind of thing. And then later on, we'll get access to expand the foundation so we can make the building wider as well. Is the poltergeist red? Uh, I don't know. There was a green one running around. Did you see a red one? I don't think there was, but I don't know. Well, the only room that's dim is this one. Dim little little room. Oh, this one is, uh... I wish I could control click. Let's integrate the three torches in here. We'll just leave that with a... One... The one on the ground. Get some comfort food. Going to some other... Uh, going to order ramen. Oh, ramen food. Mm, ramen. 34, 34, get these out of here. I want to I want to build a garden over here. Destroy that. Destroy this too. Get him out of here. Let's explore here again. Begin battle. Are they going to open up the wall here, or are they going to go down, I wonder? Oh, they opened the wall. Nice. The heck is that? A furry mite and a lantern keeper. I have no idea whether these things are particularly dangerous or not, but it looks like I've got the one character acting first and then the lantern keeper. So let's soak the lantern keeper to slow them. I can't. They have to attack the one in the front row, huh? Alright. Get that furry mite. Now the lantern keeper's gonna go. That sucks. 30 damage. Blinded! Oh, he's been blinded by the light.
All right, let's get vengeance on the front row. Oh, hey, we damage, huh? That sucks. Uh, fireball. Oh, critted him. Suck it, you little jerk. Soak this thing. Slow him down. That moves him back in the order. Hit him with a smash. And a fireball. Oh, for a crit. Oh, he's not quite dead, though. Now he is. <laughs> Suck vengeance, you sucker. Potion River charging wood. We got 20 ice petals. Nice. And then arcane scrolls. School chambers, zero luxury, underground, grounded. Gremlins and ooze do not spawn here. Click to dismiss. That's neat. Sweet. Okay, ice petals are handy. I need more of those actually. Oh, what's going on here with this chest? Repair that thing. Okay, they're nuking this stuff out here so I can finally build a midden jelly. In theory. Kinda want them to hurry up here. Holy donations! Check donations. Oh, sorry, hold on. Donations! What do we got? What do we got? Uh. Holy Nick with a thousand dollar donation! Holy cow, Nick! That is huge! And exceedingly generous! I hope that wasn't just a typo. <laughs> Thanks so much for the donation, Nick. That's fantastic. The money will be uh, will be very well used, that's for sure. I, ho I really hope that wasn't a typo, though. <laughs> no research selected. Thank you so much for the support, Nick. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, so we finished the creepy is quilty thing. I only have two of those scrolls, so I can't unlock any of that stuff. I guess we gotta go into the... Wait, we already unlocked the Middenheim stuff. I'm all out of things that I can research without using scrolls at this point, I think. Yeah, I gotta get scrolls. So we gotta graduate some people, do some more underground stuff or whatever. Let's get rid of these things here. Destroy... Let me build my midden jellies. Mm, midden jelly. Come on, nuke those things. Turn to plant here. There we go. Ow! Oh, look at that. That's a different looking one. A spectral croa. Casting peck at chest requires skill one to hunt. Two ectopla. Hunt that sucker. Get it out of here. That's what was destroyed my chest. It came in and smashed my chest. When you guys were asking about the red thing, it wasn't that. It was these spectral croas. They must be the croas that I killed. <laughs> the, uh, the poltergeist is green, I think. Either green or blue, if I remember correctly. Yeah, nuke that thing. Oh my god, what does it take to kill it? Leave my chest alone! Lasts for 5.8 hours. Oh, they finally nuked it. About time. Jeez. That was crazy. Oh! Midden jelly. Add a refining order. Sinew. Use to recipe your gear. Quilted quilted helpers into build furnishings. Small carcass. Trouble is at making food out of the small carcass, so crafting these things is maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Look at that thing. I probably don't need this many, actually. I, I think I overdid it with the crafting of those. Let's cancel some of these. <laughs> I clearly don't need to refine that many things at once. That is hilarious. Gurgle goop. Midden jelly. How do I pet it? Needs. <laughs> That's amazing.
Gonna hunt some more rats. Do it, do it automatically? Okay, that's good. So, the one guy has a quest to pet it like 10 times or something, I think it is. Oh, there's another crow out here. Oh, too funny. Make sure you have some cornstarch on hand <laughs> and to pet the jelly. <laughs> you don't want them sticking to your hand. It start to dissolve your body from the hand up. That'd be amazing. <laughs> oh lord. Never can take out the wall lights. We have the candles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where else did I put those? Oh yeah, in here. We got that. We got a candelabra up here, and that's fine. Got those. Those aren't giving me any buff, but they're also not hurting anything, so those are okay. Uh, I should put a candelabra in here, I guess. Lighting. Candelabra. Green wall torch. Disintegrate. Pretty good amount of light out of that torch, actually. Or the uh, candelabra, rather. You can set the axes so they're the only ones that can do it, then. Oh, for the the petting? Oh, yeah. So who's the one's got the challenge? Trials of Medallions. Overcome the Burrower Larva. They already got that one. Uh, pet a refining beast three times, so it's Andrew that's got it. So we so we'll set access to Andrew only. There we go. Allowed caretakers. And then we'll go to priority. And we'll set him for beast care as, an, as a priority. <laughs> nice. Need the dolls to act as pickup cleaners. Yeah, so I just got access to the quilty guys. <laughs> Those are hilarious. What are nobody's doing to take care of it. It's not actually eating anything. All right. Anyway, uh, new crafting. Okay, the spindle. A quilt station used to create quilted helpers that could perform jobs in school. Placeable on the floors, three by two. How big is this thing? Okay, it's fairly big. I want to put it in here. I need to move this. Actually, we'll just disintegrate that. Put like a candelabra or something in here. The nuke that will make our little uh, crafty carrier things. You have to feed it. I don't know what they do. So like you set, you set refining on it. I would assume like eating the refining stuff is what feeds it, maybe. But I don't know. You have to feed it at all, anyway. Oh, um, I got a bunch of this um, bitter gruel, so we should maybe make that. That's better than eating the carcasses. One, three, four, five, six. We go. Um, do until we have six of them, and then we'll cancel these off for now. I think your storage might be full. They would stop putting things away. Oh, you're right. No, capacity 4 of 10. 10 of 10. 10 of 10. Yeah, a bunch of it is full, that's for sure. Uh, build. Storage. Chest. Oh, that's not going to leave me as much room as I thought. Um... Cancel those. 
thought I could cram some in the middle there, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. In our storeroom. Hey, Mr. Joker, how you doing? Good eye on the storage room thing there. I wouldn't. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to the cleanup. Imagine that. Imagine that. Cryptic fox not paying attention. That that never happens. <laughs> what me? Attention? No. So far with that. Big donation. We're up over four thousand dollars raised now in support of Covenant House Toronto. Thank you to everyone who's made a donation. Four thousand and eighty-two dollars so far. We've got uh, we've raised. That's fantastic. Thank you all very very much. I love that music they dance to. <laughs> oh, okay. We got three of them out here. I got to change the access on these other ones too. Uh, access, Andrew. There we go. So if he pets them while he's here. Yeah, he already pet one. So if he pets those other two now, we'll be set. He'll have that challenge done. As long as not three, like three different types of beasts he has to pet. If so, that would suck. Only one so far. Corpse of the Bird is still there. Yeah, they haven't cleaned that up yet, have they? That's kind of weird. I've got it at priority five too. They just, I think it's, I think it was a bug that it was there because it's immediate deposit test for carry on. Do that. Easter light. Can I set a job for refining the crow corpse? No. Core cups and workshop properties move, destroy it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't seem to be storing it, so I mean, whatever. We'll, we'll nuke it for now. Uh, crafting, we want the spindle. Andrew C. Completed Creature Comforter. Good job, Andrew. So he's now got uh, two of his trials completed. The third one is Overcome the Burrower Larva, but I don't know where those are. Fire Underlord. Spits fire at its foes, sometimes while protecting itself from harm. Burrower Larva. Larva. Ooh, Michael's ready, too. Defeat one skull or higher. Boosted power. Defeat one skull or higher. Party solo. Can I send Michael down into the dungeon by himself to try to destroy something? There's usually only two enemies. I mean, he could probably handle it, right? <laughs> she wrote the process of the Minjali. That's how I got rid of them in the playtest, anyway. Well, it did... It, like, so you can't choose what kind of carcass it uses, though, I think. Yeah, it just, like... It takes a small carcass, but that wasn't a small carcass. It was coming up as, uh... A, uh, a low, oh, ah, get this, th oh, come on. These things are just so annoying. I need something to get rid of them. Bring out of bed, go kill that thing. Seriously, go, go do the killing. It's wrecking my stuff. Play this, you refine them to get eyeballs and brains. And when I killed them, eyeballs and brains popped out of that one. So it didn't have to be refined, so I'm not sure. But that one also spawned in the middle of my house, or my, in the middle of my school, so it might have been a bug that it showed up there in the first place.
Hey, scared away somehow? Yeah, they're scared away by something. Place one rooms on all floors. Spectral Croa, hunted by Ricky. I don't. There was something I could put down that would scare them off, or maybe maybe it wasn't the spectral ones. Maybe it was the other kind. The well, there's the Scarecrow that will will do it, but I don't have it researched. Speaking of which, I gotta go back in the underschool again. I'm gonna send Michael by himself into the underschool and see if he gets himself killed. Oh, I can't do this single room again though. One skull in. Michael. <laughs> All by himself. He might have to run away. I think one of his challenges... Uh, hold on. One of his challenges, I think, is to defeat without using a potion. No, well rested. And solo. So he can use potions. How do I know when he's rested? Discuss for eating in a schoolroom. Status and conviction. Rested. Zero. Fully rested. Does not need sleep. Okay. Michael, you gotta go down here. It's all you, buddy. Potion for charging. Give him those. Revival flask. We'll give him one of those. Restores 200 hit points. Greater rejuvenation. 200 mana. Give him a couple potions he can work with. Hopefully he won't get himself killed. <laughs> he might be dead here. He's, I think on this level he should only be fighting a minimal number of enemies, but we'll see what happens. Got to defeat an enemy by himself. I, I think if, as long as he beats even one enemy, I could have him run away and he should be alright for the objective. Uh, Earth armor. The trouble is, the, the armor is going to have them hit me, which will protect him, but I'm not doing any damage to them, and that's not helpful. Deal plus 20 damage when at full hit points, so let's... let's I can't hit the one at the back, so we got to go with the belchers. Okay, he won't get the bonus damage anymore. Use... How much hit points has he got left right now? Oh, 20 life. Oh, boy. Uh, he's not going to be able to fight three of these things at once all by himself, I don't think. Potion of Greater Rejuvenation. Oh, I can use the potion and still attack. Sweet. Oh, those things hurt, man. They do 60 damage. And 60 armor and taunt, too. I might have to flee. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Well, I can revive him once, I guess. Throw an earth armor on. Uh, armor's kind of useless by itself, though, I think. Oh, he's defeated! Wait, where's his potion? He's been knocked out. Okay, so he's not dead. Trauma, ebbing, bold. How do I, uh... In pain, trauma, ebbing, boldness, 30 days. Unconscious for three and a half hours. Knocked out. Will recover in a few hours, but comes with added trauma. <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna graduate him anyway. He'll be out of there. I had to get the kill. He needed to kill a one skull enemy by himself. Hopefully, he at least accomplished that. Oh, it's got to be a whole party he's got to beat solo. Oh, he's screwed. He doesn't have enough health for that. There's no way he's surviving that challenge. Ugh. All right, not without some sort of a potion that gives him shielding so that I don't have to actually cast it. Because without that, he's just, he's, there's no way that'll work. Um, let's see... Priority 5. 
No, oh, how do I pick him up? Is he... Is he just gonna lay there? Someone rescue Michael! <laughs> he, he tried a challenge he shouldn't have. Someone save! Will no one think of the Michael? There you go. Go get him. Watch, they're gonna pick up the potions and leave the body behind. <laughs> He'll get up on his own eventually. Okay. Revival Flask 1. Is it the flask that's that's letting him get up? The fact that he has a Revival Flask? No, there we go. Alright, there we go. He's live! Good job, Michael. You you, you made it. So, sort of. Or something. That's funny. Add a quilting order. Okay, quilted carrier. Quilted that can haul. Recycled quilted carrier. Quilted carrier corpses 3. Oh, that's gross. Let's get a couple quilted carriers in here. Let's do it until we have, you know, four of them or something. I don't even know what they need. I've got lots of sinew and viscera, so we should be able to make a bunch of those. It'd be funny to see those things running around and, like, gathering stuff. Uh, we do have to go back down here and explore again, or challenge again, though, because I... Not with Michael, though. Right? Michael's gonna stay up. Um, I need, uh... I need more scrolls. We gotta do that. <laughs> hey, Dreamer, how you doing? They used one of his death saves. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine, though. His death saves allowed him to get up again. Okay, so I didn't even have to have the uh, rejuvenation potion on him. He just would have gotten up on his own. That's good. What the heck is this thing? A Strigoi? That's a vampire. Soak him. Soak the Strigoi. Oh, it didn't work on him. Or at least it didn't slow him down enough that he, he went last. Uh, earth armor to protect the rest of the party. Vengeance. No, just hit it with a fireball. Fireball does more damage directly anyway. And with only one enemy attacking, there's probably no point. Twelve damage, that was terrible. That armor ability is quite nice when you got a group. Boom! Smashed him! Stone, ice petals, earth wand, nice. I can summon another earth student and arcane scrolls. Okay, we need to have a graduation, I think. Let's get Michael out of here. Well, actually, where, where, where's his, uh... Trials of Medallions. Well, I could get another medallion for him, at least. I don't know if it changes the way that we... Yeah. What about Andrew? Overcome the burrower larva. We haven't found that yet. Boosted power mana, skill cap, eating a mess hall, common rumor, house commons ten times, but we don't have one of those built yet. Okay, let's do a ritual. Hire staff, graduate. We're gonna graduate uh, Joseph and Michael. Oh, interesting. Different number of depth scrolls. So Michael had a challenge completed, but did Joseph have two good two? Yeah, okay. So you got an additional depth scroll for the additional medallion, I guess. That's interesting. Begin ritual. Yeah, I need to craft another wand too. Actually, let's go with. Uh... That's not it. Wand crafting. Let's get a wand we haven't had in here before. Earth wand, add wand. Let's go with uh, a dark wand. We're getting a darky. 
do it one time. Yeah. Let's get a little graduation ritual down here. Send the wounded student out so we don't have to heal him. <laughs> Fatigos looks like he's had a rough day. Yeah, well, he's kind of dead, so I guess that's that'd probably make for a bit of a rough day. Two students graduated. Hooray! Needs medical rest. Oh, Al does. That's no biggie. Wait, did they make any of these things yet? Oh, they did. I think. What are the little carrier things? Did I make them? Hey, old school. How's it going? <laughs> so proud, Sniff, of the people graduating. <laughs> Such a wonderful ceremony. Just brought a tear to my eye. All kinds of like bodily parts laying around out here, but where are the quilter guys? Did I not make any yet? Do until X. Uh, let's make this party four. I want somebody's got to go craft that. I guess they just didn't make any yet. You just put the sword chest by the mana font against the wall. It gives you extra room, and if the fog takes over, you have stuff. Yeah, it's a it's a good idea. I uh, I had already sort of started to build the storage area there, so I just left them there. But future playthroughs, I, I would say, yeah, that's a good idea. Although if the fog takes over, I mean, what are you gonna do? I guess you need the the fog would really only take over if you didn't have the materials in order to cast the spell to push back the fog, right? Well, no one think of the quilters. There we go. Oh, cool. It's going to like load the machines and stuff for me, too. Oh, my gosh. And that thing's fast, too. Look at it go. Shoom. Oh yeah, that's handy. Those are really good. I like those. Automatic cleanup system. That's amazing. Four of those things running around will do a wonderful job cleaning everything up for me. Be picking up stuff like crazy. I'll knock back some of these trees though. Oh no! Get that thing. Party five. I really need something to keep that thing away. That's annoying. Alright, he died. What's that wand? Ritual! Summon students! Uh, let's see. Oh, well, we got an Earth Wand, so let's summon that one. Gotta get more students in here to do more learning. Those little carrier guys are great! Those are awesome. What are the other kind we can make? I have quilting order. The sweepers, the cleaners. They can just clean up mess. So we can make maybe, I don't know, two of those? We'll, make, we'll set it up so there's at least two of them around. So if the, as they break down, they can make new ones. Or replace them. Oh, is that room not light enough? Oh, it's not. Forgot I destroyed that light in here. Uh, lighting. Candelabra. Let's take a candelabra right there. Keep them mushrooms out. <clears throat> and in here, I don't really care about... I don't think the classroom requires any kind of decor. Intermediate classroom. No, bookshelves and stuff. So that doesn't matter. I could put another... Just these regular torches in here. Keep those stupid things from spawning.
Those are the only two rooms that are an issue. I did restart this for the stream, yeah. I wanted to uh, to rebuild the school so that I would have a little bit better control over where things were going to go. <clears throat> I wonder if I should, like, make a teacher's floor up. Oh, look at this thing. That's not creepy. It's just waiting there. It's just like, somebody make a mess I need to clean. It's okay, I'm not watching you. I'm just waiting for a mess. And they're waiting to haul. Holy cow. Okay, I, I'm gonna make too many things. <laughs> They're just hanging around now. Although, if they don't cost any resources, it's still worth having them. Um, chop more trees down. Fill these. Gotta push back the fog again. Hit it with the candelabra near the door in the classroom without blocking anything? Uh, maybe, but I don't need a candelabra in there. We could stick it on the torch on the wall. It does the same thing. Give the amount of light in there I need to stop the stuff from spawning. Dumped all the bodies. What are the rooms gonna make that I should be worrying about here? Intermediate classroom would boost their learning. That requires a bookshelf, but I can't make the bookshelves, I don't think. Where are those? Small rectangular windows. Oh, we need to unlock that. A wooden window adds light. Placeable in rooms on back walls. Okay. It's classroom essentials. Bookshelves and stuff. Let's go here. Let's start research. That'll get me both the rustic furnishings and the classroom essentials. And then maybe we can make we can move the well build another floor. We'll get rid of the uh, the classroom here and maybe make a bigger one upstairs. Candor Albert does give you higher luxury, but I'm just not sure what the benefit is of the luxury for a room that doesn't need it. So I guess they would be more comfortable or whatever, but... Oh, we got a new uh, new person here. This is going to be Nick. Thanks for the uh, the donation, Nick. Appreciate it. Oh my god. Mm, uh, extended session. There we go. This will be Nick U. Welcome to the Nick U. <laughs> not that Nick U. Different Nick U. Go two days without ever getting very tired. Clean three messes. Sleep in a steer bedroom dormitory or for a total of 18 hours. Okay, so this one should be easy. Um, except for the fact that I've got my cleaning guys, so we need to go priority on Nick for cleaning. Which he can't do. That's interesting. <laughs> he's gotta he's gotta level up a bit as a student before they'll let him clean messes up. He's like, you can't be trusted with a mop, kid! Show us you aren't going to maim yourself with it somehow. Is there a spectral scarecrow or something? There probably is something that I can unlock later that will have that, yeah. So, let's come running in. They scare me for a second. I'm like, wait, what is that? Uh, we need to do another ritual to push back the fog. Keep that fog back. Students need a teacher. I just send all, this, all, the, <laughs> all the teachers away. Can raise the rent for the room. <laughs> to be fair, I have a co -op or, co uh, co-worker I wouldn't let use a mop for fear he would hurt himself. <laughs> That's... Those are the reliable workers. Those are the people you want to have around you, right? The ones that you're just, you're not really sure whether you're going to survive the encounter. Just don't leave bird corpse on the ground until nighttime. So is that what's causing those those little specters? Because it's priority five, but they never clean it up. Like, I don't know what to do with it. We'll spawn a spectral crow at night. It can be processed in a midden jelly for useful agents. Okay. Um... I guess it counts as a small corpse then, so refining order. I don't know what I need. Um, let's make it ectoplasm, I guess. Infinite. Infinite ectoplasms. Dun dun dun. Oh, we got another nest over here we're gonna take out. 
Destroy that with extreme prejudice, please. Oh, we got these two. We need to harvest these. Gurgle goop. You know, oh, they got names! Plump sludge, plumpo, and gurgle goop. That's, that's kind of awesome, actually. Wait, I don't want it to... It's gonna eat all the rat carcasses that I could use for cooking. And this is still sitting out here. How many carcasses, corpses have I got? Non-mage cork. I've got 15 small carcasses, but the Chroma corpse isn't one of the ones that are listed here. It says small carcasses. So it's not actually refining the stuff I want it to, unless... Unless I have to research something that gives them the ability to refine that? Where's the... Second site. Uses recipes and quilted helpers for, to build certain furnishings. Darker growth. Spore shore mush or planter. A place to grow spore shrooms. That's fun. One with dark specialization. Wandering mage grave. Quilton Miners. I don't know. It's, uh... I guess it just... I don't know. Second Sight Research? Uses Curl Corpse to make eyeballs. Okay, that's what it is. I need eight more of the uh, arcane scrolls, so I gotta do more dungeon stuff. So let's let's cancel that because it's using the wrong corpses. Um, need to explore here again. You can try by fire, Nick. You. <laughs> Hope you don't die. Try to do your best to stay alive. Need a brain later for the chalkboard to get a higher level classroom. It's so crazy. Did you say quilters? Yeah, there's these quilter things we can craft that run around making things. Or hauling things, or cleaning things. Oh yeah, I should destroy the corpse for the time being. God, I could do that. Uh, let's do earth armor to protect my people again. Vengeance this time because there's multiple enemies. Let's throw an earth armor on them as well. Oh, good thing, I forgot they had an AoE attack. So that soaks up some of that damage, that's good. Fireball! 54, nice. to smash two. Oh, hit a crit too. Smash. Um, Andrew took some decent damage there. He's down to 50. So we got Phoenix Flowers, Wood, Bitter Gruel, Arcane Scrolls, and Honey Gruel. Bring on the food, baby. What is that? A pantry? Broken? I don't know you can get furniture in here. That's cool. How do I move it? Storage for food, crops, meals, and reagents. Necessary to create a kitchen. Waiting for repair. Maybe I can move it after they repair it? Oh, I love those things. Those are great. Don't earth armor the students. Well, they were doing an AoE attack, so the earth armor was keeping that student in the back from taking any damage. Or they would have taken damage. 
So, it seemed to work alright. I'm gonna get down there and fix that thing. That's cool. I didn't know I could get furniture in these things. That's really neat. There's all kinds of cool little things that happen in this game. Loving this. Oh, you know what? I did, uh, did I make another wand? Yeah, dark wand. There we go. Get another student in here. Oh, destroy corpse. I gotta do that too. Destroy! I think there's only one corpse laying around right now, but they're probably not going to destroy it quickly enough. I have it at priority 5, but... Yeah, it's only one crow of corpse. That'll do for now. Probably nighttime, though. I don't think anyone's going to go and do it right now. Summoning a student in. Zap, zoop, zap, zap, zoop, zap, zap. Come on. Give me my student. There we go. Oh! A vivified student. Very nice. He needs a different name, though. Edric is not going to fly here. Gotta have a different name. Let's see. Uh, let's make this one... Did we already get Chris C in there? No. Let's get Chris in here. Or not Chris C, not, uh, Chris Topher. Chris Topher! Welcome! Thanks for the donation. How did I get in here? I was in the middle of a date! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, it takes him a long time to repair stuff. Oh, Alp, Enfeebled Soul, 17.8 days, Mana Drain, 5.8 hours. Ugh. Oh, she got trauma. A little bit of trauma from fighting stuff. Am I going to be starting over in LEGO? I am, yeah. So I was playing, I have a multiplayer game with Nate that we were playing, but I'm going to start over. Start fresh. See what it's like solo. Two need medical rest. Uh, they do it automatically. I have them prioritized to it. They're up here sleeping. Andrew C. and Ricky. Oh, actually. Why are you not prioritized to doing that? What's going on here? It's high priority for him. Everybody's got the highest priority set for... Oh, wait. Emergency. Job will be prioritized over top or lower priority jobs. Characters will still choose to eat or sleep if it's critical, but won't wake up to do these jobs. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, Nick, you... We can get cleaning now. Job will be prioritized over everything besides other emergency priority jobs, including eating or sleeping. We don't want that. There we go. Clean stuff. Put on my repair, get this thing fixed too, probably. Already at 86. I want that pantry for my kitchen, man. Very cool. Fixed trauma is very difficult. Needs a hospital and level 5 water or air magic user. Oh, does it? It lasts for like 40 some odd days, I think it said. So it's gonna be a while. They're effectively a trauma for life from based on how I play. <laughs> I'm gonna add more trauma too, so there's that also. Man, I should have got these things unlocked sooner. Those, like, cleanup little guys are amazing. They're just, like... They're so fast. They're just getting everything. Super quick.
Yeah, the trauma just naturally heals, but if we look at Alp, she's got trauma for another 17 and a half days. Enfeebled soul. Lowers her conviction, I think. Yeah, minus 10 max hit points, minus 10 conviction. Which is funny, because, like... She didn't really take any damage. What was she tra so traumatized about? Learn about advanced controls. Double-clicking a resource in the world will select all resources of the same type. Look, now it tells me. This far into the game. <laughs> they go lava caves solo or challenging. Are they? I haven't gotten to the lava caves and stuff yet. Uh, get more precision when placing objects by pressing the T, which somebody else told me about earlier already. Only the control key will bring up the cancel tool. Quickly for cancelling tasks. That's handy. Full cancel tool 6, also available for precision and cancelling. Alright. <clears throat> Task needs to be done immediately and no mages are, have appropriate priorities. Select a mage and then right click the target, directly ordering the mage to accomplish the task and this way it will cause them to drop everything they're doing and complete the task. Oh, man, I should have been doing that earlier too. We got rid of that corpse faster. It's gone now, but lesson learned. Idle student, whoa, 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 whoa. Chris, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You can't just be standing around here doing nothing. It wasn't over long. <laughs> hey Clay has another winner here. Surprisingly deep gameplay. Yeah, it is surprisingly deep. When I when I first tried it out, I was like, okay, this looks this looks fun. It's you know, it looks it's pretty straightforward and I don't know how long it'll be fun for. But there's a lot going on. The hardest part, I think, will be see people seeing it in order to like get that the focus and attention on playing it. No, not that. No. That's what I want. Boy, get that out of here. You got no time, no void shrooms. Everything's well lit. We're all good. Might be worth actually having a room that grows void shrooms on purpose, just for the purpose of getting the void caps, because I think they're useful for something. But not my priority right now. So cool. Oh wait, I need more. Okay, we gotta do more dungeon work. Is this ready yet? Capacity one of twenty. Being repaired. Maybe because it's broken it has capacity one of twenty. And it drained for six and a half hours. Six point three hours or whatever. Was that the one that tried to run away and got trapped in the fog? It is. Maybe that's from when they were in the fog. Maybe it's been, maybe the trauma's been hanging around all that time, and not for the damage they took earlier. It didn't really take very much. <laughs> Welcome to Trauma University. <laughs> it's not a school of magic, it's a school of trauma. <laughs> Where we terrorize our students. Too funny. Daniel, thanks for the donation. Appreciate that. Donate if you can. Thanks for the message as well. Appreciate the support for coming in House Toronto. So far, we've raised four thousand and ninety-seven dollars in support of coming in House Toronto and their mission to help serve and support homeless, trafficked, and at-risk youth. Thank you to everybody that's been able to make a donation so far. It's all greatly appreciated. Uh, let's stick this in here. Stick it on the wall right here, I guess. Actually, I'll put it... I'll put it there, it's gonna be hard to get the cauldron. I kinda wanna... Can I move this first? Move that over to here. Here's the front of the chest. I can't tell. Feels like the back, but whatever. Oh, I dumped everything on the floor! That's alright, well, whatever. Um... So we'll take this and we'll move it over to here, so we can have this in our kitchen. Because I don't really even need this other chest here anymore. 
cancel the large. You know what I forgot? When I put all these chests down, I forgot to set them up so they don't store food in them. Meal ingredients. Meals. <laughs> I wish I could just select a whole bunch of them and then... Meal ingredients, meals. Here we go. <clears throat> hey Rusty, how you doing? Not mage corpses too, you set that on the other ones. I did, yeah, but that can't be bothered. Donation via PayPal sorted out? I don't know. I, w I emailed with somebody earlier today at Covenant House, but they haven't responded back. They asked me for some details of someone who had uh, had a failed donation attempt. So if someone tries to make a donation and it doesn't work, if you could let me know. Uh, I need like the name, the amount that was trying to be donated, and then the error message you get so that they can investigate. Without that, they're not going to do anything for me, I don't think. She did say she would try to like arrange for the PayPal thing to get set up on there, but I don't know if they're going to get it done today. And kind of a nuisance. I think it's uh, seriously created some challenges for uh, people that are trying to donate. They have a copy button just above the list of accepted items. But is the copy to copy the actual chest or just the settings? God, oh, God, dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's a copy settings button right there. That button right there. We can do down there. It's fine. We got that. It's fine. fine. Back in the battle. The build copy is to build a copy of the item, but there is actually a settings copy. <laughs> I got all the smirts. You can't outsmirt me. Oh, it's a big room. Earth Armor! So this guy does an AoE attack. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but I'm not really thrilled about it. Um, let's throw Vengeance on front row here. I'm gonna smash him! Ugh. Fireball! Earth Armor again. Since the Belchers are going to keep attacking her. I'm going to put Earth Armor on this person in the back just to keep them from getting damaged. Okay, uh, fireball. Actually, no, let's go vengeance again. Earth armor. I keep Nick from getting injured. This thing's almost dead, and I haven't even been able to attack the back row yet. <laughs> Crit! Nice job! Smash! Oh no, they're out of mana. Uh, pass. Mash. Stick for the win. Look at that. Uh, in the Lego stream, reopening for us to join. I'm not entirely sure how that works, so I'd have to have people that join my party. Um, I don't know if I can make it like fully open without having like a server. I don't. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> Look at them all running down there to collect already. Those things are so efficient. Those are my favorite invention in this game, I think. Alright, pantry, contents. Animal parts, plant parts, meal ingredients, and meals. Alright, that, that works just fine, just like that. 
So I guess these then shouldn't have animal parts and plant parts in them. If those are useful in here. So let's copy settings. How do I now paste these settings onto stuff? Can I set multiple? Can I pick multiple chests at once? I like it. And still, I have to individually click all the chests, though. It doesn't seem like you can select them all. It's sort of like click and drag to select them all, kind of thing. Yes, like that. Capacity 17 of 20. It's already almost full, though. But the chests hold 10. So it holds more than those. But what have I got in here for animal parts? Anemone cell, brains, ectoplasm, eyeballs, sinew, vis. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's not all cooking stuff. Fungal helix, hallowly bloom, honey drop, ice petal, mandrake root. I'm not even cooking with most of those things. <laughs> right now we're making bitter gruel. Oh, what the? Get that out of here. Lesser medley meddler. How do we get a medley meddler in here? Well, we've got cleaning dudes. Why aren't you cleaning? All right, battle. Kill that thing. He's got to go. Smash that sucker! Careful, there are a lot of plant parts. Yeah, I probably shouldn't put them in there. I didn't. I wasn't thinking about that. Earth armor. I think in the way that the game works, you, unless they're doing an AOE attack, they have to attack the front row first. So putting the earth armor on someone in the back row shouldn't hurt anything. I don't think. Fireball! <laughs> and my throat's almost shot already, and we still got another four hours and uh, a little over four hours to go. <laughs> Ah, killed him with a crit. Nice job. Victory! More scrolls. These ones freak me out. Why does it do that to me? How do I center? Okay, we're back. Woo! Alright, good. That was crazy. Everything's going well. It's going good. I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, we're gonna be changing over games in like eight minutes to Fortnite, Lego Fortnite rather, not just regular Fortnite. Uh, I think I'm gonna quit for the for now. I'm gonna take a couple minutes so I can take a bio break. I need to get a hot drink for my throat because uh, it's not gonna last another four hours if I keep this up. And uh, see how that goes. But thanks so much, everyone, for uh, for all hanging out while we play the uh, Mind Over Magic. If you want to pick this up yourself, it came out December 14th on Steam. It's a pretty cool game. It's got a lot more depth than I thought it had in it when I first saw it. Really enjoying it. Love all the art style and stuff, too. Uh, thank you, everyone who's been able to make a donation so far in support of Covenant House of Toronto. It is wildly appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes uh, for the 6 p.m. Eastern live stream. It's like eight minutes from now. And uh, we'll kick off with some LEGO Fortnite. I do have this stream set up to auto-forward you to the next one. It doesn't always work. So if it, uh, if it doesn't work out, you can just go to the channel page, and I have this, this next stream already pre-scheduled there. So thanks so much, everyone, for coming to hang out. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. See all of you in a few minutes, hopefully. <laughs>